Oh. Oh my god. I was just here with my good friend Arvin and all of a sudden my phone is ringing. Hello, hello, this this is Jacques. Hi, Mr. Jacques. Sorry to bother you while you're probably out searching for some nice treasure. Indeed, I'm doing that right now. You see, we have a school trip every year around this time. It's a special collaboration between our academy and another kind of school. And would you believe it, Vis? Your name was one of the ones chosen to attend. You'll get to study and experience the great outdoors off to the east in the land of Kitakami. So I'm the only one going, so Arvin isn't gonna join me? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I can't believe this. It's actually here. We've basically been waiting for this all year. I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh, oh my gosh, she's right here. Hello. Hello, Miss Briar looking snatched with that corset. Big boobs. Oh my god. You're one of the students chosen for the school trip, aren't you? And your name was this, ma'am. Aren't you a polite one? You're positively dazzling. Ugh, I just know how to make a good first impression. But here I go on and on and I haven't even introduced myself. Call me Mrs. Briar. Oh, that was Jacques. <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm late. Oh, hello to you too, Vis. Ooh, is Jacques joining us on the trip? I kind of hope he does because I really want more from him in general. You know, now that Turo's officially dead. He's the only hot guy around at the moment. Well, as Mr. Jacques so kindly stated for me, my name is Briar. I'm a teacher over at Blueberry Academy. That's a school in the universe. Oh my God, black and white remix coming. Pokemon Legends Kiram coming, confirmed. Gen Fivers, we won. We as a community won. Comment down below of your favorite generation Gen 5. This year is Blueberry's Academy's turn to run to our joint school trip and supervise the students. That's why I came here to collect you. We'll be heading to Kitakami, a land known for its picturesque fields and rice paddies. But there's also something rather mysterious about it. You see, the same energy present in Paldea's terrestrial phenomenon phenomenon has also been de detected there. Ooh. Ooh. How convenient for the story. I'd also appreciate the chance to take a look at the great crater of Paldea Area Zero. She might be a villain, but we'll see. We'll see about that. Oh, sorry, Vis. Forgot all about you for a moment there. Oh, not Mr. Jacques fallen for Briar. Ooh. Do we ship it? The Kitakami Pokedex has been added. Does that mean I'm going to have to catch all the Pokemon once again? once we get over there. Oh my God, what's the whole deal with the level scaling too? Cause all my Pokemon are like in the eighties, the late eighties right now. Please let, please let there be level scaling. Your Mr. Jacques is quite charming, isn't he? Ooh, not Miss Bright. Oh my God, the tea. We haven't even gotten to Kitakami yet and we're getting so much tea, not Miss Briar having a crush on Mr. Jacques. I don't blame her, he's sexy as hell. By the way, do you know of the Violet book? Why does she know about the Violet book? If this entire DLC pack is not like 100% about the lore, I'm gonna be disappointed because the lore in this game is so strong and so powerful. Game Freak, you better not disappoint with it. Make her evil, make her Heat's descendant. Please do it for me. I mean, like, I'm gonna be honest. We could, we could help her even if she's evil, I'm down. <laughs> I know what the Violet Book is, as you should. It was the most influential book of the century on the subject of the paranormal. The author of the Violet... Oh, they just confirm it right here, that right here. The author of the Violet Book, Heath, was in fact an ancestor of mine. <gasps> Thank you, Game Freak. Thank you so much. I even have his original manuscript. Oh my God, the T, that's the original Violet book. And look here, these are all the pages that were blacked out and made illegible in the published version of the book. Oh my God, it's not censored anymore. While separated from the research team in the crater's depths, I found a strange entity. Whether it was a Pokemon or even alive at all, I know not. It bore a shell with layers of overlapping hexagons and gleamed brighter than a gemstone. Viewed as a whole, it resembled a mysterious, brilliant disc. I wonder who that is. <gasps> I have tentatively named this creature Teropagus. I suspect that its very body is made up of the key material that causes Pokemon to shine brightly and crystallize. There is so much tea happening right now. Like this is a gaze, this is a gaze dream come true. Look at all the drama in this Pokemon game. Oh, all we need is another new hot Dilf 
esque Pokemon character, and I'm set, baby. Like, this will be the best Pokemon game known to mankind. The Pokemon depicted on these pages is called Terrapicus. It's a mysterious Pokemon that Heath allegedly encountered when he delved deeper into the depths of Area Zero. Not that the general public believed him. I believe him. It's my dream to find Terrapicus and prove that Heath's records were all true. Though I haven't yet been able to secure permission to enter Area Zero, unfortunately. Miss Briar, we're ready to go. Why? Okay, who the fuck are these three rejects? These three no-names? Why couldn't it be my my gang? Nimona, Arvin, and Penny? Why couldn't they join us? Like, I don't care if they're trying to keep it realistic. Like, oh, no coincidences here. No! Why can't my besties and Penny join me on this adventure? Game Freak. Looks like the gang's all here. No, they're not. That's not my gang. I don't know who those three flops are. Sorry. All right, everybody to the land of Kitakami. Bro, we haven't even made it to Kitakami yet, and I'm already so excited. Like, this is crazy. This is cra- Oh, loading screen. <gasps> That's giving Animal Crossing. Honestly, Dodo Airlines. Oh my god. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, what is this? <gasps> the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Part one. Oh, the teal mask. Yep, this is part one right here. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, okay, transitions. The frame rate so far. Oh, never mind. Trees in the background are kind of delaying with the spawning, but we're finally here. This is Kitakami. Oh my gosh. So far, very cute. Very like my neighbor Totoro esque. So I'm living for the background. Like, this is exactly my vibe. But you all survived the long trip. And we haven't lost anyone along the way. All here. I don't know who those three are, but I guess they're here joining me. Then welcome to the land of Kitakami. This is the stage for all the new experiences and learning opportunities you'll have out in nature. Ah, uh, here we are at a brand new setting with this gorgeous- Oh my god, look at the Yanma. <gasps> Oh my god, the Yenmas look amazing! Oh my god, original Wooper! Oh my god, this is actually so pretty and so brand new. Also, speaking of brand new, Brand new background because I moved in real life. Ooh, fun life update. Sorry for clickbaiting y'all in the last video, but I'm actually not. Up ahead is Masui Town. That will be our base of operations for the duration of the trip. M Miss Briar? I don't, I don't feel so good. Oh, all that travel must have given you a dose of motion sickness, hmm? Why don't we pause here for a moment and take in the sights of these fields? I have a little request for you, because I'm the main character. Could you run ahead to the community center in Masui and let the care caretaker know we're here? It would also be great if you can explain that one of our students is feeling unwell. Yeah, I guess. That's his fault for being unwell though. On your way, I'll look after your poor travel buddy here. He is not my buddy. I don't know who that is. I would rather that be Penny right now. Why can't it be Penny with the tummy ache? Oh my God, this poor child though, like you good? Ugh, my head. So this is how Psyduck must feel. Mm hmm Honestly, I can't even be mad at him because like I too am someone who suffers from motion sickness. So this is my first time in another region. It even smells different here. Okay, great. This is somebody who just likes sniffing at things. He doesn't even have a name. None of these characters have a name. Why couldn't it just be my friends? Even if they provide no importance to the story, why can't it at least be here? I would rather be traveling with my besties than these three randoms who don't even have names. She's cool though. I like her bob. Ooh, so this is Kitakami. Oh my god, that's so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I'm all the way down over here. Look how much area there is. Wait, that's crazy. I didn't think it was gonna be this big. And it's all like green. There's the timeless woods, the Kitakami wilds, paradise barrens, infernal pass, Kitakami hall, Fellhorn gorge. That seems exciting. <gasps> It's a Poochiena! Poochie! Oh, damn it, it's only level 57. I'm gonna destroy this thing. Oh, God. Let's just do a knockoff real quick. Okay, because I, I, I want to catch it. Ooh, crit catch. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're off to a good start there. Okay, so the Pokedex, like, here's the regular Pokedex, and then here's the Kitakami decks. And so far, like, I already have... 75 of them available that I've already caught. Okay, so most of these are already here. That's fun. Oh my gosh, there's like so many Pokemon everywhere. I wanna just like spend some time catching all of them, but no, we need to progress the story. I wanna get to the juice, the juice of this story. I wanna meet Ogre Pond. <gasps> I see some people over there. They look important. It's our sibling duo, the basic 
they're basically replacing Arvin and Nimona in this time. So, you're one of those students who came from the Paldea region, huh? Like, have you never seen a brown person before? Why are you so gagged by me? I'm Carmine. Sorry, but I can't just let an outsider like you wander into Masui Town. Oh, this bitch is racist. Okay, Carmine, I fucking see you with your ugly ass bangs. If you insist on coming in, you'll have to battle me first. C come on, sis. You just want to battle making this big fuss over nothing? I told you to hush, Kiki. Okay, we're just getting right. Oh, I look grumpy as hell. Ooh, I need to show her who's boss. Her with her ugly, like cut your bangs. Why are they covering your nose? What is this? Like she's just smelling hair every day. Welcome to Kitakami. For your first experience, get ready to eat dirt. Oh my God, and here we go. The first brand new Pokemon of the DLC, Poltergeist. Ooh, ooh indeed. It's a ghost grass type. And it's about to verse my ghost fire type. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what you get with your ugly ass bangs. Who are you? Who gives a fuck who I'm I to you? You don't even matter. Uh-uh. Off to a bad start, this one. Wowzers, you went and beat my sis? I can't believe it. There's no way you should have been able to beat me. Well, clearly you don't know any better. Why? Hello there, stranger. You must be one of the students from that Palde in Academy, right? I help run the community center here in Mossui Town and a fair few other things besides. I'll be looking after your group during your visit. He doesn't even have a name. They could have given him a name. Why is his name just caretaker? I hope those two kids weren't giving you any grief just now, were they? Um, yeah, they were. I'm gonna snitch. <laughs> I hardly know what to do with the two of them, especially that Carmine, always been a handful, that one. I apologize if she gave you a hard time. Don't you worry. She did, did not, she did nothing of the sorts. What's that? A group of your, a member of your group fell ill down by the bus stop? I better get over there and hand them so they can make it into town. Yeah, you do that. And now it's time for me to get settled here in Kitakami. Ooh, that flag right there is Ogre Pond. <gasps> that like green thing up there, I recognize that. Interesting. This is the Pokemon Center. Oh my God, it's just right here. <gasps> Nurse Joy. Why is she kind of like, ooh. I know I'm gay, but like, why is she kind of this way, everyone? Oh, there's the kid with the tummy ache. Is he okay? He looks fine now. Maybe he was just faking it because he wanted to go home. This is the community center. This is where you'll be staying while you're here in Kitakami. The plan was to have you and the students from Blueberry Academy stay here together, but it turns out this space is gonna be all for you or visitors from Uva Academy. Oh, right. Those two kids were originally from this town, weren't they? Oh, okay, that makes sense. If they're from here, that makes sense. Otherwise, it would have been very weird for them to be productive. I guess, I don't know. Yep, here we have a bunch of areas in the place we can hang out. I don't care because I don't think I'm gonna do any of this. I wanna meet Ogre Pond already. I checked out my room and there was a bug Pokemon in there. Ooh, can we go see our room? No, we don't have a room. It's just the black loading screen. Okay. We were mad at them last time because we weren't able to decorate our dorm rooms. So this time around, they're just like, you don't have a room at all. Starting today, you'll be joined by our two students from Blueberry Academy. That's it, just two of them, no one else. Hi, I'm Carmine. Hi, I don't care. Hi, I'm Kieran. Carmine and Kieran actually grew up here. So ask them for help if you need anything. And you two would better be a real help, you hear me? Oop, drag them. Now all that's settled, why don't I tell you all a bit about what we have planned for you? I really wish there was voice acting in this game because I am already tired of reading all this dialogue out loud. My throat is starting to hurt. This school's trip of yours will be an exercise of orienteering. First, we will have you split into pairs, then each pair will be tasked with finding three signboards located around the land of Kitakami. On each signboard, you will find snippets of an old folktale passed down here in Kitakami. Read them all and learn a little bit more about our home. To prove you've completed the task, we ask that each pair take a snapshot together in front of these signboards with their phone or camera. It's basically a tour guide that's very interactive, so I respect that. And he's giving us a gift. The Roto Stick? Oh my god, he just gave us a selfie stick. It is 2023, and Pokemon finally learned what selfie sticks are. The Eureka Emo? Oop, you found it! Not the big girl themselves making it into this game. Wow. Wow, just when you thought it couldn't get any gayer. Remember that one of the goals of this trip is to deepen the ties between our schools. It seems like someone who knows the area well would be a big help. That being said, let's try to maximize the number of inter-school pairs. Hmm, I wonder who I'm going to be paired up with for this mission. I 
We'll rather talk to Kieran. Hey. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, man, what? Excuse me? Aw, oh, man, what? I'm trying to talk to you. I mean, I get that you're shy. I'm a fellow shy guy, too, but, like... At least say more than aw oh, man. Let me guess, you wanna pair up with one of us poor lonely blueberry students? No, wait, but you're the one who came to talk to us. What are you, some kind of weirdo? No, I'm just trying to be nice and friendly with y'all. Has anyone ever tried doing that before? Maybe that explains the attitude. So my little brother here has been googly eyed, googly eyed all over you since yesterday. He won't stop talking about you, even at home. I seriously couldn't get him to shut up. Leave him alone, Carmine. Why are you so annoying? Watch who you call dummy if you know what's good for you. He's spitting nothing but facts calling you a dummy because last I checked you are. Also, what is wrong with that child behind me? It looks like he has like a panic attack going on or something. Oh my God, is he okay? I'm on Kieran's side. Can I just be friends with him? Look at him being all shy. Shut up. Literally shut up. You could never be Nimona. I don't like you. He'd probably never work up the nerve to ask you himself, but he'd really like a battle with you. Okay, I'll do it for him, not for you. I wonder how this battle's gonna go. Yeah, like I said, my team is overleveled. I'm so sorry, Kieran. I really am. And it would make sense for me to just get a brand new team that's more appropriately matched, but I'd rather not do that because I'm too emotionally attached to my Pokemon, let's be honest. Wowzers, you sure are strong, Vis. Thank you, Kieran. Thank you for your respect. You really aren't as half bad. Kiki's nearly as strong as I am, you know? Clearly. This orienteering thing. We're supposed to group up in pairs, right? You should go ahead and pair up with Kiki then. Thank you, I would rather be with him, honestly. It's not like we can pair up. Or were you hoping to partner with some other rando outside of this? <laughs> She's basically dragging the randos. Like literally, who are they and why are they even here? I'll go find some chump to pair up with too. Watch out for my little brother, yo. Okay, Carmine, like I'll give you points for that. At least she's not fully mean. I respect that. She's mean when she needs to be. I can respect a girl for that. So maybe I was being a little too mean to Carmine earlier. We should probably start with the signboard at Loyalty Plaza. That's out past the apple orchards on the west side of the village. And he's just running off without me. Like, <laughs> thank you for that. That's so me coded though. Like, did he literally just run off to the location? I have to chase him down. Like, I kind of respect. Oh my God. 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 It's you. Oh my God. It's her. Look at her snapping photos of me. Okay. Ooh, like, let me pose real quick. Yeah, look at me posing for the camera. Posing for this, for Miss Parrot over here. Like, yes. Yes, I am modeling the house down right now. <laughs> I am a fashion icon. Let's just say that. Oh my God, she has a Hisuian Arcanine. That's a Growlithe. Where did she get that from? I'm sorry, I know we have an actual mission going on, but we need to talk right now. Where did you get the Hisuian Arcanine from? That's a Growlithe, why do I keep saying Arcanine? Whoa, where'd you come from? I didn't even notice you there. Girl, you took like 20 photos of me. Anyways, you are? Wait, no, don't say a thing. I wanna guess first. You're one of those students who came here from the Paldia region on a school trip. What gave that away? Hmm, I wonder. It's a small town, you know. News tends to spread quickly. Name's Perrin, by the way. I'm a traveler with a bit of a thing for photography. And she's also really hot. And there's Growlithe. Oh my God. My cutie, my baby. Arcanine's one of my favorite Pokemon, by the way. So like, <laughs> I love the representation. I do. This might sound a bit weird, but would it be all right if I took your photo? You already took 20 of me, so go right ahead. Just like that, huh? Are you always this open to total strangers? Kind of worried about you, kiddo. If they're really hot like you, I will, I, I'd do anything, honestly. Like, damn. You've got a unique vibe, you know? I like it. It's different than what I'm used to. It's because I'm literally the main character. Thank you for noticing. I'm gonna be making this town my home base for a little while. Why don't you focus on wrapping up whatever you've got going on for now? Come see me, I don't know, after registering 150 Pokemon in the Kitakami decks? Oh my God, there's actually a prerequisite to her mission. I thought we would get started on her thing right now. I really wanted to know what the Pokemon she's looking for was, but Oh well, I guess we'll do that some other time. Oh, I can finally ride Moto Mommy. Oh, thank God, I missed riding Moto Mommy. Yes, Moto Mommy, here we are in a new location. Okay, look at the hops. Look at the hops on this one. Oh, anyways, oh my God. Hey there, I'm not battling you. I'm already over leveled. I don't even need the training this time around. <gasps> We're in an apple orchard though. Ooh, I love apple orchards. And it's like currently September right now too. So it's like, it's basically apple season here in Canada. Oh my God, is that an applein? Oh my gosh. You can't even see it. That's how bright the glow was. 
What is it going to terrestrialize into? A bug type. That's really not... Yeah, okay. And here we are at the first signboard. Thank you, Kieran, for saying that at the same time as me. Where were you? Where did he go? Like, he just came out of nowhere. Long ago, there was a fearsome ogre in the land of Kitakami. The ogre made its home in the mountain behind the village, frightening all who ventured there. One day, the ogre came down from the mountain in a terrible rage, causing great fear in the village. By some stroke of luck, Okidoki, Monkey Dory, and Fezendipity all happened to be there as well. All three Pokemon laid down their lives to fend off the ogre and send it back to the mountain. In admiration, the people of the village bestowed upon this brave trio the title, The Loyal Three. Their remains were given a proper burial. They died? Wait, what? They're dead? They're... Remains were given a proper burial. That means they're dead, right? Interesting. So I was just at their, yeah, that's their grave, right? That's their grave? What the hell is gonna happen in this first part of the DLC? I genuinely did not expect it to go like this at all. Wait, I'm curious now. Don't you think the ogre in that folktale sounds kind of cool? Girl, I've mentioned my theory before. It's like the most common theory that everybody has. I, I'm on Ogre Pond's side, okay? That's my theory. Ogre Pond is not the villain. He's the victim. Obviously, I think Ogre Pond's cool. Ogre Pond is just like me for real, honestly. Like, getting isolated because no one likes you, like, Dog, that's basically my middle school experience. It was up against three whole opponents at once, battling it out all by itself. Wowzers, that's so cool. Oh, but I guess most people would just think an ogre like that is scary, huh? I think ogres are sexy. Look at Shrek. I don't think there's any reason to be afraid. This is why I fuck with Kira, because Kira doesn't judge a book by its cover unlike his sister, Carmine. When I was little, I went up into the mountain so many times, all on my own, and I never once met that ogre. Only scary thing that happened was the grown-ups giving me a real earful about it. Mm-hmm, I've been there, babes. Um, so yeah, we're supposed to take a photo in front of the signboard, right? I don't have a smartphone, could you? <laughs> this poor child. <laughs> Wait, like, oh my God, the fuck? <laughs> I love him! Look at him, he's so cute! Yeah, he's my friend in this game because I'm 10 years old just like him, but like in real life, like this is my nephew, okay? That's nephew. That turned out great. You're even good at taking photos. You want to try? Oh, no, I didn't mean... Oh, okay, sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to startle you there. Sorry, I don't know how to socialize either. I didn't have to come do this whole school trip thing, but... Well, it might actually be kind of fun. I get to be out in nature around my hometown and talk to you, Vis. Ooh! Oh my God, oh my God. Hey, if you want, maybe we could set up a picnic. Would you like a sandwich? Oh, oh no, he's meeting Motoma. Oh my God, so he's basically the Arvin in this game with the picnics. What is that thing? Like some kind of kaiju or something? Uh, this is Mariodon, right? You have no idea what this is. <laughs> that must be awkward. It's called Mariodon and you ride on it. I've never seen another Pokemon like this. And seriously, it comes out whenever it hears the word sandwich. <laughs> Just like me. Never thought I'd get to meet someone with such awesome Pokemon. No wonder you're so strong, Vis. You're... you're special. Maybe it's just my trust issues. Kieran is starting to, like, raise a few red flags in here. I don't know. I don't know. I feel sussed out now. Kitakami Hall. That's where the next signboard is. I mean, he literally told me how to get there, but I did not pay attention because I'm sick and tired of reading dialogue already. So, Motomami, we'll figure this out together. It's, oh my goodness, it's all the way over there. Okay, so we basically have to go back down. Oh, we can just fly back to the Pokemon Center and go there. Oh my god, it's Noctowls this time instead of Squawkabillies. Wait, that's funny. That would have been funnier if it was a Corviknight instead, but... Gen 2? Wait, there's... I There are a lot of Gen 2 Pokemon everywhere. And Noctowls being the flying taxi service? Gen 2 remakes confirmed? Oh my god, like Pokemon Let's Go Pichu? or something like that. Let's go Celebi, Legend Celebi. Oh my gosh, and like, look, there's a Stantler here and a Heracross. Like there are so many Gen 2 Pokemon around. Something tells me when we go to um, the other one, Blueberry Academy for the next thing, something tells me we're gonna get a lot of Unovan Pokemon that, for that one, which yeah, again, like I'm, I'm excited for a Unovan remake, as we all know, it's my favorite 
generation and Legends Kyurem especially, just like Legends games in general. I, I've said it before, I would rather Legends games than remakes going forward. Legends Kyurem, Legends Kyurem would be so good I, and I'm just so excited for it. Oh, I did not expect to get here so quickly. Ooh, staircases. Wait, I would love to climb these up. It's like the stairs up to Yuva Academy, but this time it's like cute and fun. Wait, I love this. I want to come here in real life. Honestly, like one of my goals in life, like I, oh my God, it's the festival area. Ooh, I want to go to the rural sides of Japan in real life so badly. Like it just looks so serene and peaceful. And also like the rural sides of Sri Lanka. Cause like, that's where my family's from. Just like countrysides in general. So obsessed with them. And like, yeah, this game is making me fall in love with it a lot more. Oh my God, this girl's hair. Wait, who are you? She looks like my cousin. I'm not even joking when they say that. I have a cousin who looks exactly like her. That's weird. That's really weird. <laughs> All right. It looks like it's just about here. Oh, I see it. I see it right over here. This is the second signboard. I'm very surprised by the amount of like story going on, by the way, it's a lot of dialogue. I'm so sorry to all the people who hate the dialogue in Pokemon games. Like they must be hating this right now. Sorry, I'm following at a distance. So I I hope you can get used to me showing up like this. Hey, I'm, I'm fine. I figured it out by now. The ogre possessed four mysterious glimmering masks. So I already saw the leaks for all the Pokemon in this. So I'm gonna keep my mouth shut for anyone who doesn't know for now. It is said that depending on the mask, the ogre donned, the powers of its cudgel, cudgel would change. When wearing the teal mask, it could bring life back into withered greenery around it. When wearing the crimson mask, it could turn a candle's flame into a raging inferno. When wearing the blue one, it could stop a very flow of river. And wearing the ashen gray, it could Break the hardest stone in two. So fire, water, grass, rock. Fire, water, earth, air, not air, it's grass. Oh, <laughs> it was so close to being the avatar. Before the loyal three fell, they rested away, three of the ogre's masks greatly weakening it. The masks the loyal three stole are kept over at Kitakami Hall. Everyone in town is scared of the ogre, but me, I really like it. I really like it too, Kieran. I love that we're on the same page. It was strong and cool, and it didn't care when everyone shunned it. I've always wanted to be like that ever since I was a kid. Honestly, like, I have to admit it, like, Ogre Pond kind of a queer icon when you really think about it. Sorry to piss off the conservatives with that statement. Ooh, hope this doesn't end up on Fox News. My sis sort of ends up doing everything for me, even when we're at school. I want to try to get stronger so I can do things for myself, you know? Then I'm going to become someone people can rely on. Then just maybe I could become that ogre's friend. Oh, right, picture. Okay, here we go. Let's take another selfie, kid. Yes. Oh, at least starting to open up too this time around. That's cute. I fuck with that. I knew it was the right call to let you handle it, Viz. <laughs> now on to the next signboard. And you know the mountain the stories say the ogre lives on is actually Oni Mountain. You can climb it from the stairs over there. We can go see the ogre's home. Hell yeah, let's go right now. Fuck the third signboard. Let's just head right on to... Let's just do it. Oh, I already know what's gonna happen. Knowing how you know, stories in general work out when you learn of a mystical being. Something tells me something exciting is about to happen. I really hate though that I'm doing all this while wearing a tie. It must be hot as hell right now and I'm wearing this. I don't wanna, oh wait, I mean like, they gave you new ones for the new update. What do they look like? I actually don't remember. Okay. Okay. Um, I mean, out of all of them, I kind of like the spring one. That's like the least offensive one out of all of them. Maybe if I change up my socks. Ooh, the new school backpack's nice. Okay, I'll wear that. The more I'm looking at this outfit, like the more I kind of like it. Is it weird? Is it weird that I like that? I love all the black. I think that's the main thing that's selling it for me. Yeah, we'll wear this for the time. Also, yeah, now's a great time to admit that I did change my player's face. Uh, it looks a lot better now because in the last video I made in Pokemon, someone said that it looked like uh, Ben Shapiro, which I didn't realize at the time. But now that I looked at it, I was like, yeah, we needed to change that up immediately. Anyways, here we are at Oni Mountain. Where exactly do we have to head now? The dreaded den, which is right over there. Love this area. Oh, whoa. 
Oh my God. Speaking of places I want to go in real life, I want to go somewhere like this with these rocks everywhere. I live on the eastern side of Canada, so it's mostly flat over here. I would love to go out west though, just to see the mountains and hopefully stuff like this. There's a bridge right over there, but honestly, I would rather just jump because that's more fun. Me and Moto Mommy, we go the wild way when we do things, which speaking of going ways, which, which way do I have to go? I have to go up. Wait, do I have to climb all the way up there? Oh my gosh, this doesn't feel like the correct way, but like, sure. <laughs> it's a chance for Motomami to like stretch her legs, even though she's a robot. She probably doesn't need to do that. Oop. All right, we've made it up here. Oh, there he is. Hello, Kiran. He's just standing there right in front of the hole. Fist, did you have trouble getting across that narrow path? I, what narrow path? I literally just like flew and swam over here. Motomami makes this a lot easier, let's be honest. There it is, the dreaded den. This is supposed to be the ogre's home. At least that's what everyone says. I come here all the time, but I've never seen it. I love that he just casually comes here all the time. <laughs> like, Kieran is a badass when you really think about it. Maybe a powerful ogre like that would only show up if it heard some kind of battle going on. Oh yeah, I think I've gotten a bit stronger since the last time we battled, so, you know, if you wanted to, we could battle. Yeah, sure, why not? And this is why he's the realest rival at Kitakami. Look at him healing up our teams before the battle just to have a fair fight. I fuck with that, Kieran. I love you for that. I really do. And here we go. Battle number two with Kieran already. I wonder how it's gonna go. If that ogre saw that battle, I'm sure it'd be thinking, that kid's got real strength. Let's go have a look at the ogre's den. You're just gonna walk right in, no problem. You know what, sure, why not? Let's just go in there. What is the camera panning to? <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> my face was covering it, I'm sorry, but that was him, that was Ogre Pun. And here we are in a cave with our friend that's a guy. Oh my God, this is basically Arvin 2.0. Living all alone in a place like this would get pretty miserable, don't you think? Poor ogre, we have plenty of room at our house. I would totally let it stay with us. <laughs> He's so cute. He is so adorable. Oh my God. I just like the stories of the ogre. It's okay, you can admit that you're a cutie pie because you are. Well, no way, the sun's already gone down. I guess we'll have to save the last signboard for tomorrow. I mean, we could just quickly do it just to complete the mission, but okay. Today's the first day of the Festival of Masks. Ooh, the fireworks festival. Ooh, yeah, let's go do that right now. I'm excited. He is so best decoded. I love it. We should swing by. Ooh, already invited to his house. Okay. Oh, look at us, the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging out. We are literally boys. We are the boys. Is this, oh, we're just so lovey-dovey. We're pretty much the most lovey-dovey couple ever, don't you think? You bet. There's probably not a pair on the planet as perfect as you and me together, right? We're wondering if there are any Pokemon that are lovey-dovey like the two of us. If you manage to find any, bring them here. What is, like... Wait, does that mean they want a mouse hold? What's this, a mouse hold? So lovey-dovey that they have two little ones, a happy little family? Wait, it worked. <laughs> so there are Pokemon out there that are head over heels for each other like we are. Thank you for showing us that Pokemon. How about we teach you a special pose in return? Oh, I'm unlocking emotes? There's missions in the game to unlock emotes now? Why wasn't this a feature already? I would have loved this in the base game. How do I emote? Oh my God, here they, oh my God. <laughs> there are two birds up there. I wanna, oh, okay, never mind. I landed on his roof and that initiated the cutscene. Welcome home, Kieran. And who's this with you? This is Vis. He's part of the same school trip as me and Sis. Ooh, because of my name, that made him a poet, and I bet he didn't even know it. So this is a new friend of yours, eh, Kieran? I sure am. Really? We're friends? Oh. <laughs> he is just like me. Are you kidding me? Every time somebody, even my friends, when they're like, yeah, we're friends, I'm like, really? We're friends? I didn't know that. Mind you, I'm friends with these people for 10 plus years. For friends? I feel all tingly and funny hearing that. Is it already sundown? Goodness me, I'd nearly forgotten. The Festival of Masks starts tonight. Come on, Kieran. You too, Vis. Let's get out some Jinbei for both of you so you can get to the festival all gussied up. <gasps> Ooh, new outfits. That's exciting. Ooh, it suits you mighty fine. Oh, I like it, it's cute. Hey Grand, you know where my, what are you doing here? Why do you care? This said he'd go to the Festival of Masks with me. Oh really, is that so? 
What's the matter? What are you doing back here? Oh, right. Gran, I couldn't find my mask for the festival. Oh, the masks, they should be in the shed. I put them there after last year's festival. Wow, I love that there was, we just loaded up the game. We're gonna walk like 10 steps over here and the game's gonna load up another cutscene. <laughs> I love, I love minimal interaction. There's gotta be another one. What is going on? Why is she looking like that? Just rolling up like you own the place? You told me to follow you. <laughs> well, it looks like there's only two masks in the shed. Too bad, right? There's nothing I can do about it. Guess you'll have to do without a mask, eh? First come, first served, and all that. Okay, like, I, I, I didn't come here expecting a mask to begin with. Like, it's fine. Don't look so glum. Don't tell me how to react. How about instead of a mask, I give you a battle in style. Oh my God, Kieran and I, oh my God, Kieran's reaction back there. Like Carmine, you are so desperate to be Nimona right now, aren't you? Oh my God, we're literally doing another battle. I mean, it's a Pokemon game. Why am I surprised by that? Feel free to be dazzled by how great I look in my Jinbei. I'll win while you're distracted. Um, you wish. Did they really just go through both of them? One for knowing my type matchups and one for a critical hit. They are scaled to level 60. You'd think they would know to not program that in. <laughs> For me, like, girl, I know. Sinis Cha. Ooh, I wonder who that is. Sinis Cha. The brand new, another brand new po- Oh my God. Why does it look like that? <laughs> I didn't expect it to look like that. Oh my God. Oh, I did not mean to use that move. Well, it doesn't even matter. Peter avoided the attack. Good job, Peter. And now here we go doing like are we even surprised at this point i'm so over leveled that i have one shot at every single pokemon so far and he oh my gosh she still has one more <laughs> swad loon i'm gonna crush you and go to the festival feeling like a winner thank god she's pretty <laughs> like, <laughs> that's her only redeeming quality right now <laughs> when I play this game again, like replay it from start to finish, I am going to make sure that my team is not overleveled when I come here because I would love to feel some suffering, you know, per battle, but not against Carmine though, because she doesn't deserve it. It's not like beating me was gonna cause another mask to magically appear. I didn't even do this for the mask. I did this so you'd shut up. Now let me get my mask. Like girl, no one cares. I promise you that none of us care. Of course, Kieran has the Ogre Pond mask though. Of course he does. How's that? Look good, don't I? It's okay, Vis. You can just wear my mask. What? No, I already said it's first come first serve. And besides, that's your ogre mask. You've always loved that mask best. Vis can just get his own mask at the festival. He's fine. Ugh, sorry, Vis. I promise you, like, I, I genuinely don't care. I know my sis seems harsh, but, but she's really not that bad. Like, I genuinely do not give a fuck. Actually, she was tearing the shed apart trying to find a third mask for you before you got there. Yeah, of course. Like, of course she did that. That's just, like, you know what? Again, like, I can kind of respect that. Like... She's kind of Arvin coded when you really think about it. Mean, but like nice to you behind the scenes without you knowing. I just love bitching with her because like I need somebody to cause conflict. I'm mad that Nimona and Arvin aren't here. Anyways, here we are at the festival. Oh my God, the frame rates of those fans moving. <laughs> oh, and people delaying with their spawns. This is exactly how I thought this Pokemon game would be. I love it. Oh my God, it's Kate. Wait, are those its arms? Wait, why is it kind of cute? I didn't think it would move like that. Like, woo, 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 woo. That's how it moves. This is the Festival of Masks. Today's just the first day. It'll keep going for a while. The Festival of Masks is held so we can honor the loyal three, the brave heroes of Kitakami. The loyal three are the Pokemon that once protected this land from the evil ogre, you know? Most of the kids in town wear masks of the loyal three, like me. Did I mention they, there are heroes? <laughs> What? What are you laughing at? Nothing. I was just thinking it's funny that, like, you don't know anything about the ogre. Drag her. Drag her, Kieran. Drag her. I know the legends of Kitakami better than anyone. Pretty guts of you, gutsy of you to laugh at your big sis. That's just little brother behavior, laughing at your big sister. I do it all the time. Oh, look. They've got candy apples. Let's go check out the stalls. Oh, my God. Me. More more focused on the food than the lore. Aw, oh, Kieran, you're so kind giving me a candy apple. Thanks. Grandma gave me some pocket money, so it's no big deal. 
I love candy apples. You don't get to eat them every day, you know? There's even a Pokemon in Kitakami that looks like a little old candy apple. Did you know that? Hey, let's check that out over there. Are we gonna see the candy apple Pokemon? Oh, wh where did he go? Step right up for a game of Ogre Outston. So, y'all wanna have a go? I mean, I guess. Hey, you're one of those kids that came from Faldea, right? How, like, <laughs> I'm not even wearing my uniform. How would you know that? I can't very well take money from guests. Have a go on the house. I wish traveling in real life was like that. Oh God, and now I'm gonna have to do it against Carmine. I did one just now. It was pretty easy for me, that is. Okay, never mind. I don't have to verse her. My score was 6,390. Uh, what exactly am I doing though? Because I feel like I can beat her, but... Let me figure out how we play the game first. It, it, it's definitely taking forever to load, I'll say that. <laughs> Maybe once the game... Oh, Elgar Alston is a traditional game that has been long played in Mossy Town. Gather up lots of berries and bring them to the berry tables to try and earn yourself a high score. The playing field is dotted with the ogre balloons. Pop these balloons to catch the berries. From time to time, greedy Pokemon may gather... You... Okay. So we need to get three green and reds and then two blue and grays. Do I just pop them and... Okay. Oh, okay, I get it. Come on, Motomami, we got this. Where's the baskets? You just plop them in. Oh, you gotta actually do this. Oh my God, it's like that Roblox game. A greedy greedent appeared. Where, girl? And a squovit. I don't care. Oh my God, okay. We got two blue ones. Plop them in. Oh, we have to actually... I'm so dumb. You have to press it. <laughs> you have to press it more than once. Okay. We got the greens and the blues sorted. Now we just need the reds and the grays. I mean, can I just collect them all at once? We need three red ones. Oh, what? Oh, oh my God, excuse me. They're attacking my thing. I wish the frame rate was better. Oh, this is confusing. No, they attacked my thing. Excuse me, go away. That is so mean. You actually have to guard it at the same time. That's annoying. You know what? Then it would probably be smarter to just grab them all at once and just go back and do it. Okay, hello, where are the gray balloons? Oh my God, they're over here. I only have 30 seconds. Hurry up, hurry up. 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Oh crap, oh crap. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh my God, right at the last second I did it. Stage two, are you kidding me? Wait, I have to keep doing this? I don't wanna do this. Two, three. Oh, thank God. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, I still need one more green one and three more gray ones oh my gosh and i only have 10 seconds left can i do it oh crap oh crap i don't think i'm gonna be able to do it no 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 time's running out time's running out i'm not gonna make it i'm not gonna make it crap oh please tell me i don't tell me i have to beat carmine's score in order to beat the game oh crap i did worse than her i carmine masui's reigning champion of ogre busting balloon have triumphed I don't care. Go serve this a sound defeat for me. Now, what's that? You're taking the side of an outsider over your own sister? And so what if he does? Like, why does it bother you that much? I think I'm gonna black out, do it. Do it right now, I dare you. Sorry, she's causing such a sheen. Don't worry, I'll deal with her. Why don't you go wander around for a bit in the meantime? Oh, <gasps> oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, he's here. Hello? Oh, now shit's about to get real, isn't it? Ogre Pond. Oh my God, he's just here. Look at him. Just dancing away in the background, unbothered as hell. I kind of respect that. Okay. Oh, look at us befriending him right away. A mysterious child is staring at you from behind their mask. Child? Hey, Vess, listen to this. It's nuts. Oh, they don't know. They don't know it's Ogre Pond. Kiki's no use at all. Zero talents for Alston Ogres, I'm telling you. Chase after that mysterious kid. Can Kiki join me? I don't want to do it with you. Oh my God. Hi. Do we really have to do another loading screen? Okay. Oh my God, wait. The, oh my God, the quality got better. Wait, this. You shouldn't run off on your own. Hey, new kid, that goes for you too. Oh. <gasps> oh my god, he's so cute. Here you go. How did they not realize it's not a child? You should come back. The mountain's dangerous at night. 
Wait, no. So we just keep his mask? Oh my God, you found the teal mask. The face of an ogre. Wait, so do I know it's Ogre Pond or not? Because the game's telling me it's Ogre Pond, but my character doesn't seem to know that it's Ogre Pond. That's confusing. Who was that? Where'd that kid come from? I don't think it's a kid. Okay, at least we figured it out. What are you talking about? Wait, do you mean that kid we saw, they ran off toward the mountain? Could it have been the ogre from the story on all the signboards? Are you saying that story was true? I mean, they did drop a mask, so they really must be. This, sis. I love that our names rhyme. What are you guys doing over here? There was an ogre here and, hey, wait, stop, stop, stop. What, what, why are you yelling all of a sudden? No, I don't want to keep it a secret from him. No, Kiki, no. Why can't it be the other way around? Oh, I get it. I bet you were making fun of me behind my back. No, Kiki, I promise it's not like that. No, I don't want to turn against him. He's my bestie. Don't scare me like that. Blabbing for the whole world to hear. Don't you have any filter? See, Kiki really likes the ogre. Like really, really, really likes it. So if he found out we'd seen the ogre without him, I guess I was afraid he'd feel bad, you know? Feel left out or something. Am I overthinking it? Yeah, you are. I didn't want him to running up the mountain to follow the ogre at this hour either. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. She's just being a protective big sister. Who am I to judge that? Well, in any case, we already lied about it and that's that. Let's keep this whole thing our little secret, okay? And maybe hold off on showing Kiki that mask you just picked up too. I hate that I have to do this, but she does make several points with that. The next day. Oh, Briar, hello. I genuinely forgot about you. I'm not even gonna lie. The candy fruits of the festival of masks have such an interesting flavor. That's all you have to say. Okay, great, great. Yeah, great. And here we have a random, who are you? Today I'm definitely gonna get started on orienteering with Carmine. My heart's pounding. And you? You already found two signs, huh? We only found one. Oh, I thought I was being the incompetent one, being like, oh wow, we're only seeing two when we can clearly just see the other one. Okay, no, I'm doing better than the others. How long are we here for? I feel like that, you know, finding the board sign things should be like a one day activity. Aren't we only here for like two weeks or something? There you are, Vis. Just because we didn't agree to meet doesn't mean you get to keep me waiting. Girl, I'm waiting for what? We didn't agree to meet. So why are you mad that I'm late when I didn't even know I was meeting? Girl, you haven't told anyone about the, you know, the thing that happened yesterday, right? No, you better not be lying. If I found out you blabbed, I'm gonna make you swallow a coughing hole. I've done it before. Swallowing is not that hard of a skill. My grandpa knows a lot about the village's history. Maybe we should go to talk to him about what happened yesterday. Ooh, I know what's about to happen because I saw it in the trailer. Good morning to you, Vis. Oh, and Kieran's here all of a sudden. He's awake, huh? Wanna go see the last signboard? Kiki, go find somewhere else to be. Vis has got business with me. Why do you have to say it like that? Seriously? He's spending all his time with you. That's so unfair. You can be such a jerk. What did you just call me? That's the worst thing he's ever called you and you're getting offended by that? Damn, you two must have a healthy relationship. The things that me and my sister have called each other, <laughs> trust me, way worse than that. That's enough, Carmine. Be kind to your younger brother. Exactly, grandpa, eat her up. I was being kind. It's not like I hit him or Does she hit him usually? Anyways, we've got more important things to discuss, right, Vis? Come on, you gotta show Grandpa the thing you have. Can I show him the adventure guide instead? <laughs> Wait, why, why? <laughs> why can I show that? No, not that. I'm talking about the thing we found yesterday. How, you mean my selfie stick? Can I show him that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why does it let me do that? Wait, why can I show him anything? Oh my God, look at this big pearl I found the other day. Do you want it? Okay, I'm sorry, that's annoying. Where is it? The teal mask right here. This. How is it fitting in my hand? The mask, it belongs to the poor ogre. Where did you find this? We bumped into it. The ogre, I mean, yesterday at the Festival of Masks. I tried talking to it all nice and everything, but it dropped that mask and... Yeah, I never would have thought that the ogre would still be gracing our festival with its presence. So he's seen it before? I thought that ogre was a scoundrel that attacked the village. <gasps> was 
the theory right is ogre pawn actually the victim you see the truth of what happened with the ogres the other way around let me tell you the true story is passed down through our generation through our oh we're getting some tea right now baby i can't believe i'm finding all this out in part one this is gonna be a bit of a long story to tell is that all right is it like a oh my god is it gonna be like a movie Bitch, I'm sat for this. This story has been passed down in our family by word of mouth. I learned it from my father. It's a story of truths, a story that must never be told to the rest of the village. Here we go, something crazy about to happen right now. <gasps> Ooh, oh, oh my God, it is a movie. A long, long time ago, a man and an ogre came to Kitakami from a foreign land. Is the guy hot? I hope so. The people of the village feared the man and the ogre, who looked so different from them. And so they refused to let the travelers come anywhere near the village, just like Carmine did to me. There was only one villager who pitied the two travelers, the village mask maker. He made several masks for the man and the ogre. By wearing these masks, the traveler could hide their true faces and mingle with the villagers. The mysterious pair soon became the talk of the village because of their brilliant masks. But rumors of exquisite shining masks attract more than just innocent curiosity. A group of greedy Pokemon made their way to the land of Kitakon. Is this what I think it is? These Pokemon sneaked into the cave in which the man and the ogre lived and tried to make off with the masks, which were carefully stored away. The man happened to be there. He managed to hold on to one of the masks, but he was not strong enough to protect them all. The Pokemon stole the other three. <gasps> Several hours later, when the ogre returned to the cave, it found its beloved home in ruin. All that was left were the signs of a struggle and a teal mask. The ogre donned that mask and went down to the village, perhaps to search for its friend. <gasps> It found the greedy Pokemon there gloating over their stolen masks and defeated them as he should, as he should. But the villagers, of course, had no way. Oh, it's the stupid villagers' fault. Yeah, yeah, and to nobody's surprise, humans just had to ruin everything. The poor ogre. Poor ogre pond. I'm on ogre pond's side. The villagers thought that the three Pokemon had fallen trying to protect the village from the ogre. Wounded and weak, the ogre returned to its cave alone and with great sadness. <gasps> Don't tell me the man died. Don't tell me the man died. Ogre Pond didn't deserve that. And the loyal three, they're the worst. The story everyone's been told is the complete opposite of the truth. They've got to hear about this. Yeah, like why? Why can't we tell everybody about this? That's so unfair to Ogre Pond. The villagers believe their own version of history. They revere the loyal three. So how would they react to being told that they've got it all wrong? Back when this all first occurred, the mask maker, that is to say our ancestor, tried desperately to tell the truth of the matter but nobody would take him seriously. In fact, it's said he was persecuted as a heretic. Heretic? That really gets my blood boiling. In the end, the mask maker chose to protect his descendants, us, by keeping his mouth shut. Damn, they the villagers really hated that they were wrong, that they just offed him. Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> like, because they were that stubborn to admit their faults? Wow, this town is kind of fucked up. About that mask you showed me, I noticed the jewel on its forehead was chipped. I may be able to fix it. Would you mind leaving the mask with me for a little while? <gasps> oh, don't tell me. Yeah, this is the scene from the trailer. Of course, Kiki heard everything. Of course he did. Oh, where's he off to? Oh no, we've angered Kiki. I'm afraid of what's gonna happen next. I wanna see Ogre Pond again, but getting its max fixed will have to come first. For now, we should carry on with the orienteering before Kiki gets suspicious. So now we gotta go find Kieran. Oh, but I'm like 90%. I mean, girl, look at this wall. <laughs> it's like barely a wall. Of course, he was just stood right over here hearing everything. You could hear it loud and clear. I was going to ask, what were you and my sister just uh, talking about? Um, nothing much, I guess. Oh, no, he's pissed. He's pissed. Look at him. You could tell about those signs. The last one's a bit of a hike away. It's in Paradise Barrens on the other side of Oni Mountain. We'll need to head over the mountain and down towards the northwest. Oh, there's a rift between the two of us. My new bestie. And he already hates me. He heard the entire conversation though, right? That's the funniest part. Like, you heard the entire thing. So, like, wouldn't you know? Because they literally said why. We have to keep it a secret. Now, we, I love that the mission is literally take a selfie. Yeah, we have to take a selfie for this mission. So where is the final selfie spot that we have to head to? It, 
Oh my goodness, it's all the way over here? Oh wow, we have to travel far and wide then. How exactly do we get up there? I guess we gotta climb the mountain and go back down? All right, Motomami, we're off on an excursion. We are climbing up this mountain still. It's been like a good few hours for our poor character. I love that we're 10 years old, far away from home, and here we are just climbing another mountain. This is like a casual Thursday for us though, when you really think about it, because this is basically the shit we were getting up to on Paldea. What's over here? Whoa, whoa, what is this? Crystal pool? Ooh. Oh my goodness, there's just like crystals. <gasps> um, okay, I just ran into a Pokemon. I'm sorry, but like, are these not the same crystals from from freaking what's it called? Area Zero? Oh my god. Wait. This is literally area zero right here, right in the center. Are we gonna have to go there again? Are we gonna go underground again? Is that gonna be the final battle? Ooh, suddenly like, I am very intrigued by how this game is gonna end way. I am, I am like way into this now. More into it than I thought I was gonna be. This is the top of the map. Like, is this not literally area zero? This is literally how the crater looks like on Paldea. It's like a smaller version of it. Oh God, we are falling. Motomami, 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 we're crashing. Okay, we crashed. Where the hell are we? How the how they expected us to come all the way out here just to take a selfie with a signpost? We're like 10 years old. Why did the teacher just allow us to do this? No problem. That seems very unethical. It's literally just in the middle of these ruins right over here. <laughs> I have my Moto Mommy to help me at least. How the hell did these Pokemon get up here? These are the Paradise Barrens. Pretty lonely place. How the hell did you get here? According to the old legends, the ogre used to be seen around here a lot. Hey, before we check the sign, could you battle me again? I have defeated Kieran once again <laughs> pro tip bro pro tip play with an appropriate level if you want to have more fun i'm honestly in this more for the story anyway so that's why i'm not too bothered that i'm wiping these bitches clean but okay i lost oh it's because i'm weak that's why i that's why you what we should go check the sign come on let's get this over with Okay, I went into this thinking that Kieran was gonna be like the unlikely hero, but now all of a sudden I'm scared. I don't trust him. If you see a shadowy figure approaching you outside the village at twilight, be wary. Don a mask at once and hide your face. Do so, and whether the shadow is a man or a monster, you will pass each other by as a fellow mask wearers. If you should meet the shadow when you have no mask in hand, then pray that it is only a man. If it is, you will live to see another day, and you'll remember to never forget your mask again. But if it is the ogre, you will meet your end, as do all humans whose faces are seen by it. Well, I saw it, and my face is still here, so I call bullshit. Want to take that last photo? He's saying that like it's a threat. Why am I worried? <gasps> oh, and now he hates me. I feel bad. Look, and I look disappointed too, because I know I, there's a rift in our relationship. We've only known each other for three days and we've already seen the highs and the lows. This is not good for us. No, it's not. Here we are with the no names. Why is he walking like that? He's hurdy dirty dirt. That's how he was walking. Good morning, Vis. Carmine wanted me to tell you that she's waiting at her place. She said, you better get a move on and don't keep me waiting. We don't have like an assignment or something that we're supposed to be doing right now. Like, why am I just heading back to their house once again? I wanted to fix Dear Ogre Pond's mask, but I'll need one more material if I want to do a proper job of it. Yeah, according to Grandpa, we need to get a crystal cluster from the bottom of the crystal pool. So now we have to head back to the crystal pool that I was just at. Oh, and Kieran's here. I feel so bad for him. This man just wants to be involved. He would be a good person to be involved with because he already loves Ogre Pond so much. But no, we have to just do him dirty. You better go kill time somewhere. Yeah, yeah, do whatever you want, sis. Oop. I don't need that kind of attitude from you. Can you blame him, though? Can you blame him, though, Carmine? Like, let's be serious for a second and read the room. You know why he's doing that. And here we are at the Crystal Lake once again. 
it feels a little too familiar, but something tells me we're not gonna worry about that for now. How the hell did she get here so quickly? Girl, what's your secret? And she's gonna get mad at me for being late. There you are, Vis. Come on, get a load of this view. Yeah, that is a pretty thing. Now we'll just need to get a little bit of the crystal from the bottom of the pool so we can fix the mask properly. And that's where you come in. You want me to jump into the fucking river or this thing? I'm 10 years old. Oh, oh God, an earthquake. Of course there's an earthquake. Now what? What's going on? Oh, okay, hi. Oh, we're just battling it? Okay, that's so random, but I kind of fuck with it. <laughs> Miss Milo Tick, the mother of all Pokemon. Ooh, it's a level 73. Finally, I have more of a challenge. All right, let's just do Gigaton Hammer, I guess, because I'm out here with Amy Rose and I don't want to switch. Bam! The frame rate of this area. Oh my god. <laughs> this ba oh. Okay, Carmine. Oh my god, Carmine just ate her up like that. Wow. Good on you, Carmine. What's happening now? Oh, there, of course, there's just a crystal, so we don't even have to dive. How convenient. The crystal appeared on land for us because Pokemon didn't want to add dive to this game. Yay, Crystal Cluster. That sounds like a drag name when you really think about it. Maybe it was stuck to that Pokemon you fought. How convenient. What? Why are people just popping out out of nowhere on this game? Like, everybody is just able to teleport now all of a sudden. Why did you come here? Oh, just doing a bit of field research. I was interested in the properties of the water here. You see, the crystal, the crystal pool waters emit energy of the same wavelength as terrestrial energy. Once I figure that out, I might be able to stabilize the terrestrial phenomenon in regions other than Paldea. We've got somewhere to be, so bye. <laughs> I love how she just walks away. Yeah, she's so real for that. I can't even lie. She's trying to, she's scheming. If I can just get the terrestrial phenomenon to reliably occur in other regions other than Paldea, that should bring me one step closer to Terrapagus. Yeah, her goal basically is to just get to Terrapagus. It's so sad that we're not going to figure that out though until part two when we actually meet Terrapagus. That's the pack that I'm more excited for though, obviously, because Terrapagus seems like a really big deal in this game. I guess like technically Terrapagus would be the third legendary in this game because apparently, you know, the loyal three, Okie dokie and them, they're not considered legendaries. They're just normal Pokemon. Ogre Pond, I believe, is a legendary as well, I think. But like, you wouldn't really include him in the trio with Maridon and Coridon because like, they don't really connect, but Terrapagus does. So I guess Terrapagus is the third Pokemon. This Carmine, I'm so sorry. Did something happen? Kieran, he, did he run away? Of course he did, of course he did. Why would Kiki do that? Hmm, I wonder why, maybe because y'all been neglecting him when he's the only one who's actually interested in this shit. Did you tell him about the ogre or something? I was with you the entire time. When would I have done that? He seems to be headed to Loyalty Plaza with the mask. So I guess we're going to Loyalty Plaza right now. Damn, damn, I am really getting my steps in today. And I'm also spending a lot of money on flying taxis because like we are just flying everywhere, left and right. No issues about it. You two knew, didn't you? You knew that the ogre wasn't the real bad guy in the stories. The loyal three were the real bad guys, but the ogre's the one that gets treated like an outcast. And you two did the same thing to me, drag us. Drag us, Kieran. This is what we deserve. I can't even get mad because you're right. You are right about this. What is he gonna do now? You treated me like an outcast when you went and meet, met with the ogre. Okay, we didn't intentionally meet the ogre. Like the ogre came to us. Kieran, calm down. You know how much I love the ogre. You act like you didn't know anything, but you were laughing at me behind my back all along. No one was laughing at you. That's not what happened at all. You're a liar. Oh, oh, okay, camera work. What is going on here? Battle me. And if you win, I'll give you back the mask. So come on, battle me already. Yan Mega, okay. I thought he was gonna be like, all right, Ogre Pond, or not Ogre Pond, Okie Dogie, battle. Okay, I'm 
I, I um, play rough. Yanmei is not a dragon type. And he avoided the attack. Of course he did. And he's using air slash. Play rough. He avoided the attack again. Oh. Damn, Kieran. What is going on here? Gigaton hammer this time. Okay, there we go. At least we're getting a hit in. And now he's sending out Gligar. No, I'm not Googling what Gligar's weaknesses are currently because I forgot about them. Water and ice, okay. Um, no, I would never do that. Don't worry. Anyways, Kurt Hummel, it's your turn. Let's go. What type is Gligar anyways? Oh my God, this is embarrassing. How did I completely forget? Bam, there we go. We're back on track. I can come back from this. I got this, I got this. I honestly believe in you, Kieran. I do. Even though I want to win this, obviously, I'm still rooting for Kieran regardless. Okay, that does a lot more damage than I thought it would, so that's great. Ooh, Amy is actually kind of going through the ringer right now. Oh my goodness, Amy, I am sorry. But at least she's slaying this battle down as she should. Polyrath. I guess we could keep Amy in. Okay, Amy. Let's get it. Hydro pump. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, Amy took that hit like a champ. Okay, here we go. One more hit, and she's got this. She's got this in the bag. That's my girl. Okay, Amy Rose. Fuck it up. And last. Not last. I actually don't know how many is left, but Cramorant's next. Um, Cramorant is water flying. Um, you know what? Stevie hasn't battled yet at all <laughs> since we've made it to Kitakami. So let's use Stevie. Yeah, we'll just do a bird versus bird battle. Hurricane. <laughs> Hurricane. Oh, Cramorant hid under what? What? We are on the ground. Oh, crap. Stevie's quicker than him. Of course, Cramorant avoided the attack. Stevie, the one time your speed bites you in the ass. Oh my god, look, it has a Pikachu. It has a Pikachu in its mouth. It usually gets an Aracuda, right? But it got a Pikachu this time. That's funny. I've never seen that happen before. What can't you do? You're like the hero in the story. Obviously, I'm the main character. Oh, he just chucked Pikachu's ass at me. Why can't I be as good as you? Because I'm the GOAT. Do they know that I'm a champion at Paldea? Aw, oh, man. Ah. Oh, what? Oh, no. What are you doing, Kieran? Kieran, get away from that. What are you doing? Kieran, stop. Okay, yeah. That's what... Yeah, ow. Of course. What would you think would happen when you punch a cinder block? Okay, at least he's giving us the teal mask like he said he would. Thank you for that, Kieran. Say hi to the ogre for me. Hey, listen, Kiki. I should apologize for... I'm going home. Oh, Kiki's gonna hate me forever now. I hate it here. I'm sorry about all that. He's not normally like this at all. Do you think most people act up like that around Kieran's age? Um, how old is he? Because I thought he was like 10, but she said he's a teenager. I mean, like I kind of acted like that at his age, let's be honest. <laughs> so I relate to him, but I'm just gonna say I don't think so. I sure never let teenage angst get to my head like that. I don't know what to do with him. That's not your responsibility. Okay, something's happening. Click, clack, 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 clack. I was about to give her a speech about how older sisters go through a lot of pressure, but this seems more important. Hey, can you hear something? Is it coming from the Loyal 3 monument? Oh no, the quality got better. Something crazy is about to happen. <gasps> Oh, oh my God, whoa. I wish the entire game would look like this, honestly. Well, what's going on? Ew. <laughs> Ew. They're bad. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, I do not want these three in my life right now. Are you kidding me? They came back to life? What in the world? Griffic. Okay, of course that's his Pokemon cry. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. The ooh, Vincent Diffie's got a little, a little something to her. I kind of fuck with her at least. They're gonna take the mask from me, girl. We need to run. We need to run right now. Oh no, they're running. Okay, I'll accept that. What is going on? What are they doing? Oh my God, oh my God. Oh no, they're about to wreak havoc on the town. Oh no. They ran off towards Kitakami Hall. Oh no. <laughs> There's a crowd of people here too. Ah, if it isn't Vis, if only you'd been here a few minutes earlier. 
Hey, did those lousy three Pokemon come here? I believe you mean the loyal three Carmine girl. Girl, let's not right now. The loyal three were just visiting our humble little hall. It seemed they wished to collect the shining masks we kept safe here at Kitakami Hall. So naturally, we representatives of the hall were happy to return the mask to them with all haste. Of course you were. Oh my god, of course you were, you hurdy dirty bitch. No, of course they did that. You gave them the masks? And we offered them a platter of our special Kitakami mochi, packed full of our best herbs. Thank you, society, for making our lives even harder than they need to be. And you fed them? Oh, Carmine's pissed. Honestly, Carmine, like, I kind of fuck with the attitude right now. If you want to beat them up, I'll support it 100%. Heck, I'll video it. I will. They went at once to ascend Oni Mountain. Perhaps they have it in mind to finish off the terrible ogre that lurks in the dreaded den. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Not if I have anything to do about it. You get the fuck away from Ogre Pond, you three ugly things. Let's return his mask then. We have it with us. Yeah, we're on the same page, but we should split up. You head up to the dreaded den and help Ogre Pond. I'll go back home and get the fa mask fixed up. The loyal three look kind of sinister, don't they? That must be what's called anti-heroes. Don't you dare quote Taylor Swift right now at a time like this. Oh, this is the narrow bridge that Kieran was talking about. I completely missed this. I'm gonna be honest. Wait, where? Oh, it's over there. Oh, we were supposed to go there. Nah, this is fucked up. This is like literally violence. This is gang activity. Oh. Ew. Here we go. And I love that we get to start this off with Monkey Dory, this ugly piece of thing. I don't even know what type Monkey Dory is. Wait, what type is it? Is it a water type? I didn't heal. Oh shit. Amy Rose, please be faster. Oh, thank God she's fat. Oh no. Of course, Monkey Dory avoided the- Psychic. Amy! Amy, no, my girl. I didn't want her to faint. Oh crap. All right, Peter. Assuming Monkey Dory is a psychic type, Peter, get in right now. Hopefully you can take him on. Ooh, and she's faster. Oh, oh. Peter. Hida did that. Oh my God. Yeah, that's what you get Monkey Dory for looking like that. And we still have two more left. Oh my God, Kieran and Carmine, both of them are here. They were trying to go three against one on you, huh? I guess a fair fight's too much to expect. But now that we're here, we'll make you regret ever coming back to life. Ooh. Ooh, Miss Carmine. Okay with the attitude. Monkey Dory, give up. I dare you to give up. Oh. And they ran away. I love that I only had to beat up Monkey Dory. That's what Monkey Dory gets for looking like that. About the mask, I just got so angry and what I did was real dumb. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry too though. Who fuck what you did? Girl, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for doing you dirty this entire time. I promise I didn't mean to do it. Pom -pom. Oh. Why Ogre Pond's so cute? Ogre Pond is such a cutie. I love her. Yes, look at the moves. Okay. This is for you, dear ogre. How monumental. <laughs> it seems scared. Maybe it's not good with new people, Kiki. Just like you. Aw, we love the similarities. I don't think it'll take the mask if I'm the one giving it back. I should be the one to do it. Of course I should be. Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> of course I have to give it back. I'm the main character. I wouldn't put it past the so-called loyal three to plot a second ambush either. We need to keep Ogre Pond safe while we deal with them. That means the three of us are gonna form a team, the mask retrieval squad, and we're gonna jump those three ugly Pokemon and beat them to a pulp. Good idea, isn't it? and you get to be my second in command. I can come too? Of course, yeah, the three of us versus the three of them. Mm -hmm. We are gonna destroy them. We are gonna get the masks back. We can do this, yup, yup. I'm here for this. Oh, I can't wait to beat some ass. Ogre Pond will now follow you around? Wait, what? Oh, wait, what? Oh my God, it's a following, it just follows me? My bestie. Wait, I love her. Oh my God. Wait, what if I get on Motomami? What? Um, oh, it just disappears. Oh, it just teleported over here. Okay, that makes sense. What if I jump off? I love how I just did that with no remorse. Boom. Ogre Pond? 
Oh my gosh, she knows how to teleport. Where exactly am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to talk to Briar? Have you seen the crystals? Like the one in the crystal pool? Okay, clearly not her. Why is Briar so useless to this story? I genuinely thought she was gonna be a bigger player. Currently a little disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, it says like basically where I'm standing. Are they? Oh, over there. I see Kieran. Hello, Kieran. Am I supposed to talk to you? I'm not big on going up and just talking to people. Oh, am I supposed to talk to the villagers? I think that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, here. This seems like an important person. I thought someone had collapsed, so I went to check on them, but it was just Monkey Dory taking a nap. It can be so peaceful around that pond out there. What an ideal place for their snooze. Okay. So Monkey Dory's by a pond? Will that mark on the map? No. We just know that he's by some pond, which I'm assuming is this one over here because by my calculations, this looks like a pond. Have you seen Okie Dogie of the Loyal Three? That purple scarf it wears is so lovely. I saw it wandering around in the barrens. Okay, we're making progress. There's a TM over here. Nice, and an item. Oh, oh my God, Moto Mommy, calm down. And last but not least, we need somebody. How is it raining? Oh my God, it's thundering. What the fuck? <laughs> It just started thundering out of nowhere. It's constantly raining here. <gasps> Carmine, do you have anything you'd like to say? We need to gather every scrap of info we can about the sightings of the Lobby 3. Let's meet up once we're done. I love that Motomami is currently inside her and she doesn't even care. I respect how open-minded she is to new experiences. I saw Fez and Dippity zoom through the sky over on Oni Mountain. It was so much cooler than the stories say. So clearly I did all the work today. It looks like Kieran and Carmine didn't do shit. So now it's up to me, basically, to solve everything. All right, let's combine the info we've gathered. You go first, Kiki. What did Kiki do? Because last I checked, Kiki was just standing there. Okay, well, here's what I heard. Oh, we're, we're not going to see what he heard. They couldn't give him dialogue, at least some information. Wow, wow. Okay, thanks to the information you two brought- Oh, okay, we were both talking at the same time. That's why they didn't animate it, because we don't speak in this game. What did you learn, Carmine? What did you do? We were out running around. Look, I'm the leader here. Mundane work, like gathering info, just doesn't suit me. Oh, okay, so in other words, you're just lazy, and you're making us do all the work for you. That's girl boss behavior. I kind of respect it. Besides, I tried talking to a few people here, but they all got nervous and stuff. I'm just too pretty for my own good. Okay, confidence, I live for that. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so they're actually marked up on the map, just like how it is in the original game. Love the continuity of gameplay. Yeah, we'll go with that. Great, now we gotta traverse all around and retrieve those masks. We're basically gonna have to battle all three of them. I'm, I'm not going. And by we, I mean me and my Pokemon team because Kieran and Carmine clearly aren't gonna do shit. What do you mean you're not coming? You're part of the team, you need to come along. As long as Viss is around, I'm sure Ogrepan will feel safe. Besides, I got things to do. Oh, oh, you have something more important than what's going on right here? Helping out your idol right in front of me? You don't wanna, you don't wanna do that, Kieran, are you sure? Oh, just abandoning us like that? Wow. Wow, Kieran, wow. So I guess this is just the main mission of this DLC pack. It's going around and battling out the Loyal Three. I love Ogre Pond and how he just follows you around. Yes, uh, yes, Ogre Pond, fuck it up. Okay, we need to go battle the Loyal Three, but um, okay, first of all, there are so many Pokemon right over here. Well, there's a mass outbreak somewhere here, though. I want to go see what that's up. <gasps> core fish. Ooh, look at all the core fish everywhere. I mean, you know, I guess I have to start catching Pokemon in order to unlock Perrin's mission. So we might as well do that as well. I have a bunch of quick balls ready to go. They better work. All right, great. We're off to a great start. Yeah, we'll take the long way and just like catch every Pokemon on route. We need 150 and I currently have 78. Why does the shadow look? Please don't tell me I'm the only one who saw that. Why does the shadow of the Pokeball look like that? I've done enough catching. Um, and by that, I mean, I'm lazy to keep catching. So you know what? Monkey Dory is all the way over here. 
I think we're gonna set sights and get the ugliest one first because Monkey Dory, as we all know, I have beef with him. I have beef with him, so we need to humble him first. We need to beat his ass down. Where is it? The pond, I guess it's, oh, I kind of see it from here. It's all the way off over there in the distance. Ooh, I actually, what? Oh, okay. This whole area though really does give me like Johto vibes. I don't know why. I also don't know why I keep running into Pokemon. Can these Pokemon just mind their own business, please? Like, damn. I have a mission that I'm clearly trying to do right now. <laughs> I don't need distractions, please. Thank you. Grubbin. I do like Vicavolt though, so I'm happy to catch this Pokemon. Why did Amy Rose get no... Wait, I completely forgot that my team is currently beaten and battered right now. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's, let's... Oh, wow, there's really only one Pokemon Center in this entire area. I just took that in. I get that it's a small rural area, but um, wow, you know? It's like if your Pokemon are dead and you're all the way on the top of Oni Mountain, you have to like traverse for God knows how long just to heal your Pokemon. Yes, I know I can just use revives and stuff, but like I'm super stingy and there's free healthcare in the Pokemon universe. So like, why not use it to my benefit? This person has a yellow thing, Rotom phone apps. I'm a traveling app developer. Okay, so you're a nerd. Just say that. I see you've got a Rotom phone. Here, let me add a snazzy new feature for you. I love meeting random people on the streets and having them download new apps on my phone. The upper and lower frames of compatible apps can be set to match the design of the phone case. Oh my God, it's Quaxly. <gasps> it has Quaxly borders now. Wait, that's so cute. Okay. Thank you, nerd. Thank you, nerd, for your input. I don't know why I'm stalling so long to beat Monkey Dory's ass again. This has been my dream ever since they announced. Okay, it has been my dream ever since they announced Monkey Dory's existence. I have been wanting to beat his ass to a pulp this entire time and I'm so excited to finally do it. I'm so excited that I'm willing to do it first. Usually I save the best for last, but this time around, uh-uh. Best beatdown happens first. Cause with my overpowered team, oh, he's in for a showdown. He is in to be humbled for the rest of his life. Wow, the pond is like all the way over here in this secluded, nice, beautiful area. It's a shame that it's currently being infested by Monkey Dory's ugly ass. Like look at him over there. Oh my God, he is huge. Why is he so big? Has he always been this big? Look at his ugly ass, ew. Ew, he's just like, dis he's just ruining the entire area with his ugliness. Uh-uh, we, we need to check him real quick. Oh, it's the cocky looking one. Mm-hmm, that huge head must mean it's Monkey Dory. Drag him, Carmine, drag him. This is a Monkey Dory hate account. If you like Monkey Dory, get off my channel right now. Hey, I may be wrong about this, but has it gotten bigger since the last time we saw it? Yeah, what's up with that? Ew, don't, no, this is not your turn to speak. Uh-uh, you don't deserve that right. It's time for us to put it in its place. Wait, double battle? Please tell me it's a double battle. I love double battles. I'm willing to do it with Carmine because Carmine honestly is a fierce girl. She's growing on me. Him on the other hand, uh-uh. <gasps> Ooh, double battle. Oh, this is exciting. It's a two on one. Uh, we have Monkey Dory trying so hard to be special. The Titanic Monkey Dory. Oh my God. So it's basically like the Titan battles that you do with Arvin, I wonder if it'll go all red in the face if we give it a good trouncing. I wonder too. See, me and Carmine. Oh shit, I'm not over leveled. Oh my God, that was super effective and it did nothing. I have no idea what typing he is. It doesn't affect Amy Rose, period, period. That's why I led. That's why I led with Amy, because I'm like 90% sure it's poison. Poison what? Poison psychic? That's what I'm assuming. This is the one thing that Carmine and I can bond on. The fact that we both hate, hate this ugly thing, Mr. Monkey Dory. Slay Carmine, mm, paralyze that ugly ass. Humble his ass down right now. Unfortunately, her Mork Pieco died from poisoning. And here we go with Sinistra, ooh, a ghost type. <gasps> Ogre Pond in the background watching us battle is so funny too, by the way. We're gonna go in with another knockoff. Thank God Amy Rose is faster. Mm-hmm. Smack that boy down right now. Ooh, and a foul play. We got two dark types up against this one. Hmm, someone's got a weakness. We can just keep using that move till it faints. Thank you for the tutorial. When my Pokemon are almost level 100. 
clearly the game knows I still need them. So what, is it dark poison or is it psychic poison? I don't know, because it's weak to dark types. What's weak to dark types? I don't even know. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is the powerful duo right here. A fucking teapot and a bitch with a hammer. Sinistra. Is that before or after Poltegeist? Does Poltegeist evolve into Sinistra? I've never actually figured that out yet. But I'm assuming it does because she started with the Poltegeist and now it's a Sinistra. I'm I'm kind of obsessed with it. I, I'm popular opinion. I do really like the convergent evolutions or the R fakes or whatever they're called in this game. I don't know. I just feel like it's so silly and unserious. And obviously that's shit that I live for. So like, I just kind of live with it. I love that they're just kind of fucking around with the audience now. Um, whoa. Pony, what? Okay, Pom, what do you have to offer? Oh, stat boost. Oh, thank you. Oh, he's like cheering for us. Oh my God, the amount of damage he just did there though. Whoa. Does it even matter though? Because like I said, Amy's quicker and Sinistra is also quicker. Here we go. Bam. Exactly. Exactly, Monkey Dory. Get your ass humbled right this second. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Fall down. Shrink down. Mm-hmm. You ugly piece of shit. As he should. As he should. He needs to be humbled. He doesn't deserve this. Yeah, run away like a little bitch. Uh-huh. That's what you get. Exactly, Carmine. Tell him. Tell him. Hey, look, it dropped a mask. Oh, great. We got a mask now. Ooh, it's the water one. That's a cute mask. <laughs> I live. We did it. We got the first mask back. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's actually photo ops. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Oh my God, that's so cute. Wait. Oh, yo. Oh, I love that movie. Oh my God, Ogre Pond with the taste. Okay. It sure is happy. You know, I felt this way at the Crystal Pool too. We make a good team, don't we? I hate to admit it, but we do, Carmine. We really do. She's really proven herself to be a good character. Nimona still outsells her any day of the week though. You know what? Sure, let's just do Pheasantipity next because I... I, I don't know, I just, I want to. I have no reason. It's just right up this mountain. So once again, me and Motomami, you know, we're just gonna climb up this mountain. I genuinely love that Pokemon really shook the tables by making, you know, the legendary Pokemon our HM users. Like we, oh my God, look at her all the way up there with the low frame rate. Okay, low frame rate. And she is still kind of serving right now. I can't even lie. God damn, this is a $60 game. We just gotta keep climbing up this mountain. I did not expect her to be this close. What is in this cave? <gasps> Ooh, there's a hoo-hoo in here and some, oh my God, what are they doing to this poor Cleffa? Why are there so many hoo-hoo in here with this Cleffa? What is going on? I do not want to know what they're doing, but it looks like they were about to jump the poor baby. Don't worry, Cleffa. Miss Amy Rose over here is not going to hurt you. I just want you for my Pokedex. <gasps> crit cat, crit catch, yes. Oh my God, the Hoot Hoot gang is just rising in numbers. It feels like they've multiplied. It's times like these, I'm grateful there's no like, you know, multiple Pokemon battles like there was in like Auras and stuff where you were able to find like five of them at one shot. Oh my God. I am so sorry to the Hoot Hoot gang for disrupting you. But at the same time, I don't give a fuck. I think I'm just going to leave these people alone because clearly they look like menaces. I love that Ogre Pond is like literally the same size as them. Where do we go now? Where's Fezendipity? Still over there, serving in that low frame rate model. Yip, ip, ippy. I love how fierce her Pokemon cry is. Like, honestly, yip, ip, ippy. Like, yes, yes. Go off, Fezendipity. I'm kind of sorry that I have to beat her ass now. Oh, she just flew into the cave. Interesting. So, this is different. Oh. Oh, it's like a full cave. I thought it was gonna be a loading screen. Chilling waterhead. This is exciting. It's like a fun road. Oh my God, it's like a roller coaster. We're just riding on down. I love that there's just a child, my goo. My goo. I don't wanna know what your goo is in this situation, please. Where is Pheasantipity? Don't tell me she's all the way at the bottom over there. Oh my God, I see a Quagsire. More importantly, I don't give a fuck about the legendary Pokemon. Look at this Quagsire, yes! Uh, I'm catching it right away. Doodoo -doo Head's counterpart, I finally have one. The fact that I didn't have one this entire time is actually kind of crazy. Oh, okay. 
this is the one annoying thing about this game is how like as soon as you exit a battle there's another pokemon already there nosy ass i don't even need this one but i'm gonna catch it anyways we are so getting distracted right now <laughs> that's how unimportant Pheasantivity is really to me. The, the Loyal Three in general, I don't know. I think it's just because of how ugly they are. Even though they're villains, like, I don't know. There's just something about them. There's like that oomph factor that's missing from them. What's another trio Pokemon? Like the Weather Trio or like the legendary birds from Galar. There was like a specific oomph factor to them that I really liked. They actually felt like legendary beastie Pokemon. Whereas these ones just kind of feel like three chumps that like, you just have to go scold and lecture and tell them to stop being bad. They just don't really feel like le- Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, this is not how a Pokemon battle is supposed to commence. Excuse me, Amy Rose, if- Oh my god, and Amy Rose is floating on the cliff right now? Are you kidding me? I'm literally inside Pile of Swine. If I tell Amy Rose to attack, she's literally gonna beat my ass. That hammer is gonna go right on my ass. How am I gonna throw this Pokeball? I'm inside it. Oh my god, I literally just smacked it on its head and now it's inside Motomami. And the ball is backwards. Why is- <laughs> <laughs> this is a triple a game a triple a game in 2023 all i have to say also the pokedex does anybody else see that like those sprites of each pokemon are just not loading up Ooh, there's like more tunnels though honestly these tunnel systems are a lot more exciting than the pheasantipity battle is there anything exciting in here whoa whoa there's gyaradoses in here hi um you know what? Clearly it looks like these people are occupied. So Ogre Pond, let's leave. Let's leave them alone. Let's try and fly down over here. Oh my God. Look at this swine up balancing on this rock thing. Like it's a catwalk. Oh my God. It's literally walking around like it's a model. I live for that. I do. <gasps> I see a car bank. Ooh. Oh, Moto Mommy is stuck. Oh God. Oh, Moto Mommy. Moto Mommy, no. <laughs> a car bank caused her to fall down three stories of cliff are you kidding me at least i got a shiny stone off of that oh the car bank is coming down here thank that is not who i wanted to battle we're gonna fly down this way heading over to fezendipity for the big battle come on motomami <laughs> i love that i'm literally oh motomami why would you grab onto the ceiling like that how do i get off oh okay we can just slide on down i guess oh no i can't what the fuck motomami get down Thank you. Oh, we're outside. Oh, I thought the battle was going to commence in a cave, but sure. Carmine came out of nowhere once again. There's the one that flies, Fez and Dippity. This one's gotten bigger too, huh? Time to bring this one down, Viz. Mm-hmm, here we go once again, getting ready, the two of us to beat ass. So what typing is Fez and Dippity? I'm going to assume flying poison because it's a bird. So it's probably not a good idea to start off with Amy Rose. Assuming that it's flying, but we'll we'll see. Let's do a gigaton hammer. I know we're enemies, but its face is so pretty. Doesn't it remind you of me a little? She's not even wrong. She's true. It, why does it actually look like her? Oh my god, I love Carmine's confidence though. The fact that she knows she's pretty. Like, I love a girl that knows her worth. Great job. I knew I could count on my best grunt. I mean, her friend. Hey, I'm gonna be the one who deals more. Why is she talking so much? Just battle. Girl, tell your Pokemon to battle. And Pheasantipity avoided the attack. Uh huh, just thought we all know. All talk, no action. Thank you. Thank you, Carmine, for doing that. Let's do a flash cannon on Pheasantipity. Oh, Carmine, it's really not looking out for you. I really need you to just shut your mouth and focus on the battle. Like, look, Amy Rose and I are taking this on. Like, no tomorrow. Why can't you do the same? That's what you get for picking on Ogre Pond. Mm-hmm, drag her. I will allow that because you're dragging her, which is needed. Okay, she finally landed a hit. Paralyzing Pheasantipity once again. Okay, go off, Carmine. Ooh, go off, Amy Rose. Borpeko, you tried. I will say that. Now that we're nearing the end of this battle, um, you know what's something that I literally haven't done 
this entire DLC. I have it terrestrialized once. I never use the terrestrializing game mechanic in general though, because I only like to use it if the opponent uses it, just so it feels like an even match. I don't like using it if I don't need to, especially right now, because I'm so over leveled. Oh, that, okay, here we go. Let's use a gigaton hammer and finish that bitch off. Okay, AV Rose, okay. That's my girl. That's my girl. That's why she's my ace Pokemon from here on forth, if you haven't noticed. Oh, and even when she's fainting, she's still serving. Oh, she like, she's kind of mother. Like, you can't even lie. <laughs> that Zendipity is mother. I'm sorry, I have to say it. Even flying away, she looks so fierce. You never stood a chance. She was flying. Hey, look, it dropped a mask. And this one had the fire mask. I'm surprised that they weren't actually using the masks in battle. I guess they're only unique to Ogre Pond, which is nice, but it could have been cool if they also had masks during the battle, then I guess it would kind of, you know, ruin Ogre Pond's mechanic. So I get why they didn't do that. We only have one more mask left now. Oh, this photo is even cuter. Ogre Pond. <laughs> Ogre Pond is so cute. I love her so much. No opponent's gonna give us any trouble for as long as we're a team. I agree, Carmine. Kiki really should have come with us. What the fuck is Kiki doing? I don't trust Kiki. Can I just say that right now? It's September 18th, so like people have been playing the game. I don't know what's going on, but apparently the ending of this game is something crazy to do with Kieran. I've seen people talk about it online. I have no idea what the story is. I've been avoiding spoilers all weekend, but I'm so curious how this story is gonna end. Um. What is Kieran going to do? Please don't tell me Kieran actually is going to turn out to be a villain because that's going to make me super disappointed. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, wait, I think I can just fly all the way to Okie Dogie, right? There's like a fly point right nearby. Yes. Paradise Barrens. He's in the barren wasteland where he deserves to be because he is a waste man. I would like to say thank God for quick balls in this game because it really does make catching Pokemon so much easier. And also the fact that it's like my two favorite colors, blue and yellow, like, ugh. The quick balls were made for me. They're my favorite Pokeballs in the game, in case you didn't know. Oh, why was it moving like that? Ew. It just looked like someone took it, like clicked it with the mouse and just dragged it up and down. Oh God, here we have the jolly green giant himself. Oh, here's the buff one. Okie dokie with all its mean muscles. That's a fun way to describe it. Carmine, me and you, we are going to beat him down. I just know it though. And remind him that there's only one green icon in the room and that's Ogre Pond. So I assumed Monkey Dory was a psychic poison. Fezendipity was flying poison. I think he's dark poison. I don't know though. I don't know any of their typings. Um, maybe I should have researched that before, but honestly, it's more fun to go in not knowing anything. So let's see, that scarf's way too stylish for the likes of you. I'm gonna teach you to sit the hard way. You're gonna kick him down yourself? You think you're so cool landing critical hits. Girl, I'm better than you. Why has it not gone into your head? Shut up, <laughs> shut up, Carmine. I don't want you talking right now. Can you just shut your mouth and actually land a hit? Every fucking time we come into these battles, more Peko just gets one shot in. And here you are still talking up like you're the fucking leader. We all know that I'm in charge. The only useful thing you've been doing so far is paralyzing them, which doesn't even matter because I'm here and I'm clearly stronger than you. Do better, put your money where your mouth is and actually knock out a Pokemon for once. Gah, like gah, <laughs> oh my God. Ogre Pond's an Ice Spice stand. I live just like me. All right, let's try a steel type move and see if that does anything. Oh wow, for once, Miss Carmine actually did some damage, thank you. And there goes, once again, to nobody's surprise, more Peko, the first to get knocked out. Way to go, Carmine, proving to everybody why you shouldn't be the leader in the situation. Ooh, and just like that, another one of Carmine's Pokemon goes down. Here we go in with the Gigaton Hammer. Bam, oh, there we go. And she's coming in with the Shadow Ball. Oh, finally, finally, she actually got what she wanted. She had the last hit. There, are you happy, Carmine? Will you shut up now? And here we go with the final mask, the rock type one, I presume. Oh, final photo, this photo, fierce. I live, 
I live for these photos. The photo ops in this game have been so cute. Oh, and Kiki coming out of nowhere. How did he know where we were? Fist, sis. Huh? Kiki, what's up? I wanted you to come to the village and bring the ogre with you. What? Why? There's construction outside my apartment right now. Fuck, right when this shit's about to get juicy. You gotta trust me, it'll be okay, I promise. What is he gonna do? That, that's all I wanted to ask, just come. I wonder what's gotten into him. Everyone in the village thinks that Ogre Pond's a menace, right? I hope he knows what he's doing. Pond, I don't trust Kieran. I really don't. He had a confident look in his eyes. Even if he was confident about the situation, I still wouldn't trust him. No, I don't. Let's trust Kiki and head to the village. Well, you're the boss, so I guess I have to do as you say, because you're the only one between the two of us that actually talks. And here we are, walking back to the village. But of course, Ogre Pond is nervous. Of course she is. You really don't want to be here, do you? Can you blame her? Don't worry, you'll be fine. Are you sure, Kiki? I don't trust you, girl. I know you must be scared, Ogre Pond but I did my best. So just trust me and come with me, okay? This is like some creepy shit. Why is this happening in a Pokemon game of all things? Oh my God, an Ogre Pond's listening? Everybody's in town, even our grandpa. <gasps> and we're just walking in, no problem. So that's the Ogre, Ogre Pond. It's actually real. Oh, look at how scared she looks. I don't like this. Let's trust Kieran. I mean, I might as well help with her confidence right now because there's no turning back. So this is the ogre of Oni Mountain. This is the true face of Ogre Pond, whom we sorely wronged. Far too long we've told tales casting you as the villain here in Kitakami. We all owe you a great apology. Oh, Kieran actually did something good for once. Wow. Respects to him. Kieran's been running around the whole village telling everyone the true story of what happened. We're so sorry, dear ogre. So it's basically the grandpa's fault. The grandpa really thought that everybody was going to lash out instead of appropriately react and realize that they're in the wrong. He had no faith in any of the villagers. The grandpa's a backstabbing bitch. Who knew Kiki had it in him? Especially since he usually hates talking to people just like me. Ugh, I live. From now on, you can come to the village whenever you want. And you don't even need to hide your face when you do. The three masks we kept at Kitakami Hall rightfully belonged to you all along. If you've managed to get them back from those three villains, feel free to keep them. Ooh, they recognize that they're villains too. We got the masks back and we managed to clear Ogre Pond's name Name. Well, Kieran did it by himself, which is weird in a video game because usually it would be the protagonist's job to do that. It's kind of weird that it just happened in the background. Now that's what I call a happy ending. Something tells me this is not the ending. One last thing to do. Let's escort Ogre Pond back to its home. Okay. Um, why would it pan to Kieran? So now we got to get back to Ogre Pond's place. Is Ogre Pond here? <gasps> oh, at him running around all happy and willy-nilly in the plaza. Oh, I'm so happy for her. She finally has the peace and freedom that she deserves. Yes. Let's just take some time. Like, Ogre Pond, this is what you deserve. You get to run around not giving a fuck about anything. Once again, I have to climb up and get back to Ogre Pond's place. I keep forgetting where it is, though. Uh, this time around, I'm just going to wing it. We're just gonna climb up this way and hope for the best. Let's hope this is the last time we ever have to climb up this mountain. Like, that can't be the end of the game though, right? Like, that definitely can't be the end. That seemed a bit too, too simple. There has to be more, especially with the way everybody on Twitter has been reacting to the whole situation. Something's bound to happen. I feel like Kieran's gonna do something crazy in the last act of the game. And here we are. We're back and Hopefully everything's okay now. It's a bit lonely out here, but I guess this place must mean a lot to Ogre Pond. Take care. Bye bye. Why am I just saying bye? Excuse me. Why don't I answer Carmine? It must mean a lot to Ogre Pond. Yeah, it sure does. That's how you continue the conversation. What do you mean bye bye Ogre Pond? I don't want to say goodbye to him. That's my bestie. But fine. Bye bye Ogre Pond, I guess, even though I don't want to say goodbye yet. Poe? What? Poe. <gasps> See, like we're besties. Why am I saying goodbye when she clearly doesn't want to separate yet? Hey, you know what? I think Ogre Pond might want to go with you, Vis. <gasps> oh my God, Kieran reacting in the background like that. Why? Wait, what the fuck is he doing? Hey, hold up. Hold up what? Are you about to tell Ogre Pond what to do? 
That is a grown person who's able, capable of making its own decisions. If it's not gonna stay here, then I, I wanna, I want Ogre Pond to come with me. I know I'm being real selfish. Oh, so you know. So why you keep going? Let me battle you. I want to see which one of us should get to keep Ogre Pond with them. Why don't we ask Ogre Pond who he wants to go with, Kiki? Hey, Kiki. I know you really love Ogre Pond. I really honestly understand. But you have to think about Ogre Pond's feelings too. Exactly. When Carmine is telling you to think of other people's feelings, Oh, that's how you know you stooped down low. Kieran, what's up with you? He wants to battle, let's give him a battle. You ready to battle? Yeah, I guess. It's the final showdown. It's a very weird way to end the story, but sure. He just wants to battle. Whoever wins gets to be Ogre Pond's partner. Once again, why don't we leave it up to Ogre Pond? So don't, don't you dare hold back. When have I ever held back this entire time? And here we go with the battle. And he's starting off with Shift Tree. I know you're probably a better trainer for Ogre Pond, but I, I what? Like I what? Blah, blah, blah. Here we go with Gigaton Hammer. Ooh, it actually survived. It has a Focus Sash. Probably learned that from Carmine. He's really trying his hardest here. I really, I, I commend him for that, but like, <laughs> At this point, I just kind of want the story to end. So that's why I, let's just like fast through the battle. I'm representing the various players of Pokemon who want the easy route, you know, who are just here for the story and the vibes and not for the competitive aspects. If you want a story like that, go watch like a Pokemon YouTuber for that. Someone who actually cares about the stats and stuff. I'm not like that, okay? I represent the casual players. I'm just here to have a good time and vibe. Let's go in with an Aqua Step from Kurt Hummel. Okay. Yes, Kurt Hummel. You're not holding back, thank you. But I won't hold back either. Yeah. Great commentary, Kieran, for that. Oh, it just ate a berry and it didn't even matter. <laughs> the Yash berry weakened the damage, but clearly it wasn't enough. He still fainted. Propopass. What's the type of it again? I'm using my brain to figure this out. It's weak to water, fighting, and ground. Oh, I just remember that. I'm so not Googling it right now. Let's do a close combat. Let's get silly. Bam. And of course it has sturdy. Oh, okay, Kieran. Wait, Kieran coming in at the last second. Taking down one of my Pokemon. I respect that because I genuinely didn't expect him to do that. Wow, Kieran. Wait, you actually might have something going for you. Bam. There we go. Probo pass down. And next up, he's sending out the Yan Mega. So obviously, I'm going to come in with Peter. Who's next? Polyrath. I think for Polyrath, we'll go with Yas. She. Oh my god, I have not used Yas once this entire DLC. Miss Girl, she needs her time to shine. Yas, she used Psychic. And yes, she did a super effective move. Yes, she used Energy Ball. And yes, she took him out. Go off. Yes, she did that. Oh, this one has leftovers. Wow, he's actually giving them items. I kind of respect that. I actually like seeing opponents, especially in this game, having items and stuff. Because it feels like in the main game, they didn't really have any of that going for them. So it's nice to actually see him using them. It's obviously not working in this battle, but I mean, you know, if you were playing fairly, it probably would make it a lot more challenging. Yeah, when I play this around the second time, cause I do have Pokemon Scarlet, I'm gonna definitely check this out again and like do it with a more appropriately leveled team. And I know for a fact that the second time around this game will definitely be fun. But who cares right now because I defeated Kieran, the poor child. That's what he gets for trying. Oh my God, and now he's crying. I knew I couldn't win, but I, I, I commend the perseverance, but I just couldn't give up. Yeah, that's something to be proud of, perseverance. Not everybody can say they're able to do that. I think it's time for you to catch Ogre Pond. Oh, now I have to battle Ogre Pond? That's it? That was the final battle against Kieran? Girl, I thought it was gonna be like some next thing. Like he teamed up with the Loyal Three and you had to battle them instead. Now we have to battle and try and catch Ogre Pond. I think I know how this battle is gonna go. Wait, I was gonna quick ball. Yeah, but the masks, I might not be able to do that. Oh no, I'm gonna actually have to 
I'm gonna have to actually battle them. Oh no, I can't just quick walk. Oh, it's gonna terrestrialize too. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh. Ooh, that's pretty. It terrestrialized its mask. So the mask terrestrialized. Is it the terraform thing that everybody's been saying? Or has it, has it been disproven? I don't know. Just as I thought, um, d d Amy Rose, not strong enough for this battle, but she's gonna give it her all anyways. Ivy Kudge, what move is that? Is that a new move? Oh, oh God. That's what I get for starting this off with the steel type. I didn't think he was gonna start with the fire mask. Oh God, I mean, obviously we gotta go into a Kurt Hummel. Kurt Hummel's our only chance to get some damage in. Kurt Hummel, let's go with the aqua step. We need the speed boost. Grassy terrain, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Of course it has a grassy terrain. Yeah, that makes sense. Most people are probably gonna go in this with the water type. So the game knew. Oh! Wow, I actually did not expect it to go like that. Is that it? Can I catch it? He's just standing there. Memories of adventuring you grant Ogre Pond strength. Wait, it's not done? Oh my god, there's more. I'm gonna have to battle all four masks. Oh. Okay. See, this is an exciting final battle. What the fuck was the point of battling Kieran? Oh, and now I'm going in with a water type. I... <sighs> Is it worth switching out? I don't like switching out Pokemon's mid battle. And I don't, I guess like it would make sense to go in with Yas or Stevie. Let's go in with Stevie. Hopefully Stevie can take a punch so I'm not screwing this up. Stevie, let's go, please, please. Oh, and it's going in with Ivy Kudge. It's a water move now. Is that move changing based on the Terra type? Oh my God, Stevie, Stevie, Stevie girl, please, please be faster. Please be faster. Thank God, thank God it's faster. Oh, but it's not enough. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Stevie, no. <laughs> My poor girl. Oh, crap. We're going to have to go in with Yas. Yas, please. Please, Yas, be faster. Please, please, one shot, one shot, one shot. Okay. Okay. Please survive the hit. Please survive the hit. It's a water type. But it's like a super powerful move, so I don't know. Oh, Okay, we got this in the bag. I think we're chilling now. Energy ball once again. Bam. All right. We we got this. Okay, that's two masks down, two left, I guess. Here we go once again. Yep, the rock type mask. I'm assuming it's rock type. Okay, we can go in with the grass again. Come on, grass move. Come on, one shot, one shot. Okay. It did a lot of damage. It did a lot of damage. Yeah, she put up a good fight, baby. She did what she could. And she can still go on. Oh my God. Yes, she had its HP restored. Wait, yes, she coming out on top. Yeah, she used energy ball and yes, she took him out. Oh, there's only one mask left. Memories of a partner from long, long ago grant Ogre Pond strength for the final round. What typing is this? I'm going to assume it's grass because it's green. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna assume it's a grass type. Let's go in with the Lumina Crash. Let's just see if we can do something with it. All right, that's some good damage. Special defense down. <gasps> yes, yeah, she avoided the attack. Oh my God, Yas is putting up a fight today. Wow. This is, it's cause I literally haven't used her the entire DLC and she's finally getting her chance to shine. She's making sure it's being put to good use. But Oh, wow. Wow, I did not expect that. Oh my God, she literally took care of the entire battle. She took care of the entire battle, wow. Wow, give it up for Yas, the MVP of today's battle. I think that's everything Ogre Pond's got. Now it's your chance to catch it. Well, yeah, what, sh what should I use? Should I use the Dusk Ball or should I use the Friend Ball? That is my bestie, so let's go in with the Friend Ball. I'm assuming it's a guaranteed catch. That's my bestie. It deserves a friend ball. It goes with its aesthetics too. Yes, Ogre Pond was caught. Okay. Hey, well done, Vis. That was pretty impressive. Pretty impressive? Pretty impressive? Don't you dare disrespect Yas like that. Congratulations. Thanks, Kieran. Why can't I be like you, Vis? Because I'm the main character and you're not. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, oh. okay. 
Something tells me this story's not done yet. I hate when he gets like that. Girl, calm down. <laughs> Let him feel his emotions. He's allowed to do that. The next day, oh, the story's not over yet. Here we have the random nobody. Hey, Viz, good morning. I don't care. I got a message from Carmine. She's waiting at Loyalty Plaza. So what's happening now? Say, why do you two always use me as your messenger boy, huh? Oh, oh, not him lashing out. You don't even have a name. You don't deserve to do that. Have you seen crystals like the one in Crystal Pool back home in Paldea? She really provided nothing to the first part of the story. She provided nothing. Why would they even introduce her in the trailer? Unless she's like a bigger deal in the second story. She obviously has to be, right? Like Briar is obviously, I mean, like she's literally heats ancestor or heath is her ancestor obviously there's more to her story like i don't know i don't know there's just something about briar i was hoping to get more of her in this game in this dlc but she gave us nothing and it just makes me even more curious for the next part i guess the mask retrieval squad has completed its mission though kiki well he shut himself in his room ever since he got home yesterday he won't come out? Why? But you don't need to feel guilty or anything, Vis. I, I don't. Don't worry. I really don't. It all started because I said we should keep the whole Ogre Pond thing a secret. And you wouldn't think it, but Kiki's got a bit of an ego too. He doesn't take losing well. I figured. Do you think you could let me have a battle with Ogre Pond? Oh. Yes? Can I? Wait, are we, am I about to battle her? I knew you're... Wait. Oh my God, wait, I can battle her with Ogre Pond. Do I have to have Ogre Pond in my party? So Ogre Pond has to be on my team. So I have to replace one of my team members with Ogre Pond? I don't wanna do that. Fine, Ogre Pond is level 70 currently. I guess I'll replace him with Stevie because Stevie was kind of the only one to disappoint us in the battle. Ogre Pond's a female? <gasps> oh, I didn't realize that. I thought she was gonna be genderless. Oh my God. <laughs> Ogre Pond being female is cute. So now we're gonna battle Carmine with Ogre Pond. I guess this is mandatory to the story now. I didn't expect it. I genuinely thought the story was gonna end after catching Ogre Pond. I'm surprised we're still going. What's left? Aside from this battle with Carmine. All right, so we are battling. Ogre Pond only has one HP. Um, I thought that Ogre Pond would have been fully healed because I went to sleep. Why the fuck is it at one HP? Are you kidding me? I have to start it off with a heal? Oh my God. What? And going in with the crown. Wow. Wow, great. Waste of a potion. Just go in with the low kick. Thank God you're faster. Yeah. And she knocks out Ogre Pond because I had no idea Ogre Pond had one HP. What the hell? I know I could have just checked. I love how I actually could have checked and I just didn't realize. I'm sorry, I thought the game would have just automatically healed it because like I said, I went to bed. Anyways, I'm just gonna take out the rest of her team with my overleveled Pokemon. So she knocked out Ogre Pond. I hope that helps with her confidence. Now it's time to bring her back down to earth. You seriously too strong. Thank you for finally realizing that even though I've been one-shotting you this entire time. You and Ogre Pond really do get along, don't you? Girl, she died round one. That was the rest of my team doing all the hard work, but she's still a baddie and she knows it. Hey, actually, uh, this is awkward to tell you, but, oh, saved by the bell. <laughs> Who's calling me? Hey there, Vis, this is Briar. Oh, she's finally relevant to the story now? It seems all the student pairs have completed their orienteering as this morning, Final? they finally completed the, you mean the thing where they had to go take selfies in front of all the billboards? It took them this entire time to do that? Their terror taker wanted to have some words, so could you head back to the community center? You kids never cease to amaze me. It seems you become fast friends the moment you spend even the briefest amount of time together. She's right about it being the briefest amount of time. We only just became friends and now we... And now we what? Oh well, let's go see what that nosy old guy wants. Why, is every, why does it feel like everybody's keeping secrets from me? Excuse me. Open your mouth and tell me what's going on. I see the three nobodies. I see Carmine, but I don't see Kieran. What's up with that? I've been told that our student pairs have now finished visiting all the signboards in Kitakami, which means your self-guided tour is at an end. Me and Kieran did that in two days. What took the rest of y'all this long? All they did was just run around looking for signboards. Meanwhile, me, Kieran, and Carmine literally just saved the entire town and fixed Ogre Pond's reputation. The three nobodies, what was the point of them? 
Why were they even here to begin with? Truth be told, I didn't think you'd wrap up the tour this quickly. That's directed towards me specifically, because I'm the only one who did it quickly. Our visitors from Paldea still have heaps of time left to enjoy Kitakami and all it has to offer. Continue to make yourself at home and explore as you please. However, however, I'm sorry for suddenly springing this on you, but Carmine, Kieran, and I will need to return to Blueberry Academy a little early. <gasps> no, why? <laughs> there have been some developments concerning the Great Crater. Excuse me? Excuse me? Can I go back? What's going on at the Great Crater? Now, Carmine, I believe you had something you wanted to say? Yes. Unfortunately, my brother's not feeling so well, so it's just me here to speak. Anyway, as you all know, this village is where I was born. And I'll be honest, I didn't want any outsiders coming here at all. We could tell. It felt like our home was being turned into a tourist trap for a bunch of ignorant strangers. Oh, so she's anti-gentrification. I guess I could respect that. But then we spent some time together and none of you were the way I imagined you'd be at all. You were all really nice once I actually talked to you. I shouldn't have been so quick to judge people I didn't know anything about. Mm-hmm. She's willing to unlearn her xenophobic ways. Why can't the rest of the world do it? So I guess what I'm trying to say is, I had fun. Thank you all so much for visiting our village. Especially you, Vis. Oh my, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Carmine, you're so kind. I'm glad you came to visit. I'm glad I came to visit too. So what the fuck is going on at the Great Crater and Blueberry Academy? That's the cliffhanger, I'm assuming. I'm gonna have to wait two months until winter time in order to figure that out, I want to go back and do it now. Also, Briar is just leaving me and these other three children here with like no chaperones or anything. How are we supposed to get back? We're like 10 years old. I need to become, what? I need to become? Uh, I need to become a lot stronger. What? Stronger, stronger. Stronger and stronger and stronger. Uh, hello? What is happening here? What the fuck? Why does this bedroom look like my dorm room? <gasps> Just you wait, this. Wow. Wait, is that it? To be continued? They're actually ending this on a cliffhanger? Wow, that's a good way to promote the next DLC, make people excited for it, even though we already paid for it, so we're gonna have to get it regardless. That's part one of the DLC. Not bad. It's a fun story. Very, like, filler-esque, though, in all honesty, but, like, I, I, I still enjoyed it. But if anything, though, this just makes me even more excited for part two of the DLC. Yeah, obviously, I feel like that's the one everybody's excited for because of Area Zero. That's going to be more related to Area Zero for sure. I can't believe I have to wait two whole months for that one. They said winter of 2023. It better come out in the winter time. I'm expecting a December release. It would make sense for it to be a holiday release. Oh my god. That's it though for the story. I didn't think there was going to be as much as there actually was, in all honesty. So like, I feel like that was... That was pretty satisfying for a part one. I'm coming back over here though, because I just want to see one thing. Yeah, he's right there. Ooh, we can battle them. Okay. I mean, stop. I just crashed right into him. He's just chilling here. You would have assumed he would go back to the grave considering that he was died. What? Considering that he died, I just realized that half my team is dead and paralyzed. But who cares, because I have quick balls. So please let this quick ball work. I tried. Earthquake, please don't one shot, please don't one shot. Fuck. Damn it, I didn't mean to one shot it. But at the same time, I don't care because I don't even want to catch them right now. I can do that at some other time. The next time I play Pokemon, just assume that I've caught the Legendary 3. Although I make no promises because I still haven't even caught the 4 ruin Pokemon, um, the ones that Rive for it makes you go out and look for. Haven't caught those yet. I did catch the second legendary though. Ooh, I can show that off real quick. I managed to catch it in a quick ball, which was super duper funny. <laughs> and I named it Motomami Plus, AKA um, the deluxe version of Motomami the album.
Hi. It's been a very long time. I'm not going to tell you how long it's been, but today we are finally back because there's still one more mission that we need to do, and that's Perrin's mission. Um, her whole thing was you had to catch 150 Pokemon, and after a very, very long time, I finally done it. You know what? Let's waste no more time and finally get started on this mission. Oh God, oh my God, I'm surfing. I didn't mean to do, oh my God. Oh my God, this poor child is falling. Oh my God. Okay, somehow this poor child just fell off like a thousand feet and survived. Nothing, nothing to worry about. Let's just continue on. You actually caught over 150 Pokemon in the Kitakami Pokedex? Now I know you're the real deal, thank you. It's not that much. Okay, let's not downplay it right now. I'm only 10 years old. That's right, that's exactly what I did. I've got a favor to ask you. See, a real Pokemon catching pro like you is just what I need. What kind of favor? I'll do anything for you. <laughs> Ooh, did I tickle your curiosity? Glad you don't seem afraid to poke your head into new things. I literally just fell off a cliff, so you don't have to worry about that. The reason I actually came here to Kitakami was to find a certain Pokemon and photograph it. I've been searching on my own for ages, but I still haven't found it. How about doing me a solid by helping me with my search? I'd owe you forever. Rumor has it the Pokemon I'm looking for is ferociously strong. Just think, you could catch it and bring it along on your adventures. Wouldn't that be helpful? I love that she literally just wants to take a picture of it. She's so real for that. Honestly, like, why are we bothering this Pokemon? Let's just snap a photo, post it on Instagram, and go on with our lives. If we're really going to partner up on this thing, then I want to know you're cut out for it. That, and I want to get a good shot of you looking all heroic and everything. Like, ooh, okay. I'm not so strong, but don't hold back. And don't mind me snapping a few shots while we're at it. Okay. Oh, never mind. Noctile avoided the attack. Ooh. Hypnosis and Stevie avoided the attack. Okay, we're having an avoiding off right now. Who's gonna come out on top? Yeah, okay, obviously I did. My team is still over leveled, by the way. How about a new challenger? This one won't be easy to beat. Now that's a keeper. Oh, me? I'm a keeper? Oh my god, Perrin. Enough, I already have a boyfriend. You're something, all right. I got a bunch of good shots of you in action too. I just think you might have what it takes to hold your own against the Blood Moon Beast. Ooh, is that the Pokemon you're after? Yeah, there's a certain Ursaluna I've been searching for. See, Ursaluna is a Pokemon that usually has this big yellow mark on its forehead resembling a full moon, but they say this one's mark is red. A red moon? Oh my god, not the Legends of Zelda tease. Like, wow, we love the inspo. This Ursa Luna used to live in my homeland way back when people still called it the region Hisui. The Blood Moon Ursa Luna? Do we think it would be in a future Legends game? That would be interesting if they brought it into the next Legends game, as, you know, if it actually happened. Seems like it crossed over the waters here to Kitakami at some point and made itself comfy. If the two of us work together, I bet we could be the ones to finally find and snap a shot of it. And if we do... Kiddo, if we do what? What's your purpose here? The Blood Moon Beast is in an area northeast of Oni Mountain called the Timeless Woods. I'll head that way now and wait for you there. Come on, Growlithe. Yeah, by the way, she has a Hisuian Growlithe. What's the deal with that? And where can I get one, more importantly? Alrighty-o, now we gotta go all the way over to Timeless Woods. And luckily for me, I've already been there. And there's no flying point nearby. Oh gosh, what's the closest flying point? I guess it's all the way up here at Crystal Pool. Which by the way, I love that this area is run by Noctowl taxis. Imagine calling a taxi and telling them to send you to the top of a very tall mountain. I love that the taxi man was just willing to drop me off in this location. That's someone who's willing to mind their business. I have not caught this Pokemon yet. Let me just quickly do that. Hold on. <laughs> We got a Chingling. That's what they're called, right? No, Chimico. Is there a Pokemon named Chingling in this game? Shout out to Quick Balls, by the way. The reason why I was able to get 150 Pokemon are because of these Quick Balls. Like, I'm literally the type of player where, like, if a Pokemon doesn't get into the Quick Ball, I just give up and run away. I, especially when I'm trying to complete the Pokedex, like, I'm not trying to waste my time battling. Girl, no. We are just gonna catch the Pokemon, in a quick ball and move on with our lives. No need to be dilly-dallying. My team is over leveled and also currently dead. Oh, there's really no need for me to be training right now. I can't wait for the second DLC, by the way. It's coming out quite soon when this video goes out. And like, we're finally going to be able 
to properly fly. The one thing that I hate about it though, is that like, you know, after the DLC comes out, for most people, especially people like me who really only like to play Pokemon for the story, it's gonna suck that like, we're finally gonna get the ability to fly but then like it's most likely going to be after the story's done so it's like uh like why why is this unlockable in post game i wish our legendary pokemon were able to fly in the main game you know like that's just kind of what it is i don't know i'm excited regardless oh my god what is she doing what was she doing over there oh oh my god look at the polywhirl oh my god he's like serving looks right now dancing doing his little thing okay now give me q call out to her or keep watching i'm shy in real life so honestly i'm the type of person that would just stare and let them do their thing yes look at you you clever thing see i'd rather be talking to the dog anyways than the girl so like this is perfect let's just play with arcanine for the rest of the day wow look at you i didn't even know you could pull off that kind of expression so photogenic you're just too adorable you know that i could eat you right up what's this an extra serving of cuteness just for me don't mind if i do more i need more someone get me extra storage and a napkin too oh okay yeah, see, the dog would call out anyway, so I can literally just stand here and stay silent. How long have you been standing there? You weren't, uh, listening in on all that stuff, I- No, don't wanna know. Forget I asked. It's okay, I won't judge you, you're pretty. It's right around this part of the forest where people have supposedly seen the Blood Moon Beast. Curiously, all the sightings have been on night with heavy fog. Ooh, that's a sick photo. Who took that photo? Who took that? I've heard all kinds of unusual Pokemon appear on foggy nights. I'm sure that the Blood Moon Beast is- one of them. It's gotta be. Russell, Russell, Russell. Ooh, here we go. Convenient plot. Is that my little cutie pie back for another photo shoot? Eh! Okay. That's not what I want to look at right now. Oh my god. Did it just attack her? Oh. <laughs> Why are her legs like that? Oh my goodness. Is she okay? I don't think your legs are supposed to bend like that. <gasps> Oh my god, better protect Growlithe or land a hand. Who do I value more, women or animals? <laughs> oh my god, is, wait, is it a double battle? Ooh, Kurt Hummel coming in clutch. It's fire and wa- oh, no, it's not a double battle. Never mind. All right, oh, I can catch it. What if I just catch it instead? <laughs> Will this work? Also, by the way, like, I love, by the way, if you like, do this a bunch while catching a Pokemon, the Pokeball just like zooms out. All right, we have to actually battle it. Um, Aqua step. Step on that hoe right now. Like it's a spider in the sink. Don't step on a spider in a sink. I meant to say floor. Ow, that really surprised me. Oh my God, is your camera okay, by the way? I love, oh, okay. Thanks for answering my question. I feel a bit bad for that Ariados. It probably wasn't expecting to see humans out here. I bet it only attacked because it was surprised. Well, then maybe it should have been smarter and then I wouldn't have killed it. Ooh, that's a nice tent. Oh, why can't I have a tent? That's a missed opportunity in this game to give us our own tents, like proper tents that we'd be able to customize. Are you sure there's enough room in here for the both of us? Um, We're gonna have to like sleep real close together if we have to spend a night here, you and me. Just saying. She may be old, but she's a fine tent, eh? Huh. I know someone else who fits that description. Now, the Blood Moon Beast is way more varied than an ordinary Pokemon. That's why there's been so few sightings, or so they say. That means we're gonna need to do some slow and steady groundwork if we wanna find it. So yeah, we just gotta take a bunch of Pokemon photos. It's basically Pokemon Snap. My preliminary surveys makes me think there are actually dozens of Pokemon species that tend to show up on the forest on foggy nights. We can split the load. So how about tr you try and snap 10 photos of Pokemon for me? Oh, and we're looking for clear photos that get the Pokemon nice and big in the frame. You'll want to sneak up on foot to get close to them. No riding on big noisy Pokemon. Don't come for Moto Mommy like that. She is not big and noisy. How dare you? Oh, thank God. They actually, ugh. So we don't actually have to wait for a foggy night. <laughs> we can just start it. Oh, thank goodness. That would have been so annoying. So I just gotta, can I like walk around? No, I actually have to like, oh, that's annoying. I can't just walk around in the camera. All right, so what exactly do we have to do? We have to snap 10 photos of Pokemon. And so far there's no Pokemon nearby. That's quite annoying. Hello, where are the Pokemon? I wanna take your picture. Ooh, that's a Pokemon. <gasps> it's a Sudwuko. <laughs> Okay, let's see if I, oh no, no, it saw me, dang it. 
Okay, so we just gotta sneak up from behind then. Here's good. And then we just take the photo. Bam. That's the imitation Pokemon, Pseudo Wudo. It's real easy to mistake it for a tree in this fog. You know what? Like, I'm a really good photographer too, because there was another Pokemon in the background, but she didn't want to say anything about that. Where's my praise for getting two and one? Anyways, I guess this should be like quite an easy shot as well. Maybe if I just stand right here on this leaf, a nice little focal point, we can just... Bam! That's the String Spit Pokemon, Spinarak. That is an interesting nickname. Have you tried turning up? There may be Pokemon lurking in trees. What do you think this photo is of? What do you think that Pokemon is on? Girl, don't doubt me. I don't doubt you. That's not what this relationship is about. So where are the other Pokemon? Ooh, I see another one right over there. Let's not run too far. What if I do it from all the way over here? Do I have to be like super duper close? Like this is a nice location. The Candle Pokemon, Litwick. Okay. So we don't have to go like super close to the Pokemon. That's good at least. We can just like stay somewhat afar. Will this count? Like you can see the Pokemon very clearly. I don't think the machine can get that much detail from images so small. Girl, I can see it loud and clearly. Um, how dare you? Now I have to actually chase that Pokemon. Can I just tell it to stop? Excuse me. Excuse me, I wanna take your photo. Uh no, it disappeared. Are you kidding me? It disappeared as soon as I clicked the button. That's so annoying. Is there like any way to like get it to stop? Hi, hi, hi. Ah! Okay, that should count. That better count. Are you kidding me? That's unfair. You can clearly tell what that Pokemon is. Who cares if it's running away? Let's get up nice and close. This better be close enough. Okay, great. I thought she was gonna be like, sorry, the grass is in the way. Oh, great, now, oh, wow. Oh, so this photo of Duskull counts, but the other one that was of its back and a lot closer doesn't count. Beautiful game mechanics. I love that you can clearly see the photo. It's the exact, this is a worse photo, but that one counts, but the other one didn't. That's like, wow. Ooh, ooh, here we go. Okay, see like there's two Pokemon in there. What if I just snapped a photo of both of them? Will it count? No. Okay, that doesn't count, even though there's two Pokemon in the thing. Oh, the Hoot Hoot ran away. Are you kidding me? It's okay though, there's more Pokemon right over here. I love that you can just see their hat. Let's see if this counts. I love that that counts. I love that that counts. You can't even see the Pokemon. Did you hear that sound coming from the Northeast, like thunder or something? I wonder if it could be electric type Pokemon. Where the hell is the Northeast? I guess it's that way. Girl, that's a rock. Oh my goodness. Wait, this is actually a cute, this is a sick shot right here. It looks like they're literally just floating. Oh, I love that. That's a sick photo. I will say though, like this is actually a fun mission. I'm hoping that we're able to do more of these. Ho I feel like they would let you do more of these afterwards. This is fun. I wish this was in the main game. That's what, again, one more thing. I like that it's in DLC and I like that it is in the game. How cool would it have been though, if this was a feature that was here from the get-go? Obviously I understand why they separated it into a DLC pack and released it a year later. Duh, like I don't mind that it came in DLC. I hope they introduce more things like this, especially for an open world game, more missions like these, you know, that allow you to like take a break from the main story, just like fun little side quests. I wish there were more of them in the main game. I don't feel like there were enough of them. <gasps> oh, whoa. Oh my gosh, look, they're on a date. You got both the Flyer Fry Pokemon. Okay, so that counts. That counts, but the Hoot Hoot from the tree didn't. Whatever, I don't care. The mission's done. Survey complete. Hell yeah. That was fun. That was actually so fun. I wouldn't mind doing that again. Oh my gosh, she got nice nails. Whoa. The white nails, like her outfit in general, by the way, snaps, her hair, the fact that she's got three distinct colors in her hair, that dye job must have taken forever. Shout out to her stylist. So if we just compile the photos we both took, it looks like we photographed every Pokemon known to appear in the forest when it's foggy. So you got a hoot hoot for me? I hope you did. We did it. We really pulled it off. I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Grara, that's so true. Arcanine speaking, nothing but facts. That's a Growlithe. You know, the photos you took were all real good, partner. You've got an eye for this, why thank you. So Spill, what were you thinking about most when you were taking those photos? Now, in reality, I really wasn't thinking shit. The only thing I was thinking was, I wanna complete this as soon as I can to see the bear. But I'm gonna say capturing the Pokemon as they are, because I feel like that's the most in-depth answer you can give. So you really wanted to show how the Pokemon live, pure and adulterated, huh? 
unadulterated. I know how to say that word. I, uh, I'm actually in a bit of a slump myself. Even a kid like you knows what a slump is, right? Like when nothing seems to go right for you. Oh my God, she's being relatable right now. I love that. A hot girl who is relatable. You might not believe it, but when I was younger, I was lauded as a Pokemon prodigy. Everyone loved my photos. Absolutely everyone. Not the gifted kid pipeline. The gifted child pipeline. That's what's going off for her. Not the burnout. Oh my God. She is actually me coded. Oh my goodness. The awards have all dried up. The accolades too. Oh damn i feel bad girl it's okay i believe in you so does growlith over here that's when i heard the stories about the blood moon beast i left for kitakami as fast as i could i thought that if i could get a photo of an astounding pokemon like that then maybe just maybe something inside me would change man that's rough but it will be okay like it will be honestly <laughs> thanks partner and sorry i didn't mean to bring the whole mood down with my partners no that just made you so much more real oh my god i love you even more now Oh, damn. Like I said, Pokemon this time around, they really did a good job with the characterizations. You know, like they actually make people with like legit backgrounds and stuff. Like they don't just feel like characters. They feel like actual people that you could run into in real life. I love that. I really like it. Oh God. Again, this game has so many flaws. So many flaws when it comes to the performance and the graphics and everything. But like when it comes to the actual story itself, like this is a top tier game. This is a top tier game for me, 100%. And I really hope the second DLC does things even better, even better than this. I think I'm ready to go meet the Blood Moon Beast. How about you, partner? Are you ready? You want me to go hunting for a bear in the woods? That sounds like a normal Saturday night for me. And off we go. We are headed somewhere. It's awfully quiet. Don't let your guard down. That's like obvious, but I'm gonna still say it anyways to fill the awkward silence. Oh, oh, are those footsteps? Whatever's making them must be huge. Russell, Russell, Russell. Oh, oh my God, that's Cocaine Bear. Oh, okay. Got a red moon on its forehead. It's the Blood Moon Beast. It's, re it's real. We actually found it. Wow. Okay, so just take a photo. Like, girl, this is the perfect opportunity to just snap the photo and we can dip. Right, my camera, thank you, thank you. Like, girl, just take a photo. Oh no, with the flash? With the flash, are you kidding me? Oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Growlithe, you ready? Oh, it is a double, oh no, Growlithe's scared. Understandable, that's a baby, like. I can understand Growlithe not wanting to battle, but you have other Pokemon. Over here, big guy, I'm gonna bring the bear towards me because y'all know I love bears and I love that parent is just running away. Oh my gosh, a bear. Oh my God, a twink versus a bear. The ultimate battle right here. Whoa, I didn't plan that. Ursaluna, the blood moon beast. Um, I actually have no idea what type it is or what level. So we're just gonna, we're, I feel like a fighting type move might make sense. Oh, okay, that's a smart move. See, intuition, I have it. Oh wow, and I love that. Miss Perrin over here gets to just thrive as a photographer while I do all the hard work. Ursa Luna used Blood Moon. Oh shit, it might actually be over leveled. Oh my God, we actually have a worthy opponent. Come on, Kurt Hummel. Come on, Kurt Hummel, do it for the Twinks. Make them all proud. Why are we disturbing it? Why can't we just run away? It's not like the Pokemon's gonna kill us. Like, I feel like Pokemon are smart. You know, like if you just run away, they'll be like, okay, okay. Like, I'm sure Ursaluna just wants to, like, go sleep or something. So as long as we don't disturb it any more than we need to, I feel like things would be okay. I don't know. Oh, Kurt Hummel, you put up a good fight and you gave a lot of damage. He did it for the Twinks. Twinks, make some noise in the comments. And now to finish off the round, we should swap in for the other Twink on our team. Here we go, Peter. It's up to you to bring the bear down. Bitter Blade. I'm just gonna do that because it doesn't matter. Bam, the twink topped the bear. Catch it. Ooh, let's catch it. Um, hmm. What ball should I use? I'm assuming this is 100% catch rate. So like we could use any ball essentially. I mean, I could use a love ball because I love bears. If you're a bear, you know, you got a beard, you're bulky. This goes out to you. Let's use the love ball. Shout out to all the bears in the comments. Y'all are real. My phone number is 
Ursa Luna was caught. Hooray. Where did the ball go? Hello? Oh, it was a ground normal type. I could have been using water moves. Oh, well. <laughs> Would we like to give Ursa Luna a nickname? I mean, like, I could just name it after my big favorite bear, Brian from Dream Daddy. <laughs> that was the first one that came into my head. I'm sorry. Brian has been sent to your boxes. Oh, he can come in my box any day of the week. Who said that? By the way, I was talking about Brian from Dream Daddy, not not the bear Pokemon. Um, I don't want a Pokemon to come in my box. That was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Growl, wow. Growlithe. You've got to work on those nerves a bit, but hey, he has anxiety and he's a tiny little... Did you really think that tiny little baby boy was going to go up against a giant bear? Perrin, be so serious right now. You have other Pokemon. Bow, leave him alone. He's doing his best. My heart is still beating a mile a minute. What a thrill. I just couldn't stop snapping shots of you battling the Blood Moon Beast. Oh my God. Like, I just love when people recognize my worth. Like, honestly... I love that she's willing to give me the credit instead of taking all the credit for the photos. Like she is willing to appreciate me. That's a real one. Perrin is a real one. Packing up the old tent and calling it a day feels a bit sad, like the end of an adventure. I couldn't have done this without you, partner. Because of you, I finally feel like I have some photos here that I want to keep forever. It's been ages since I felt this way seriously. Ah, oh, like it's all thanks to me. I changed this woman's life. Like, y'all better not fuck with me. I managed to develop the photos I took of the Blood Moon Beast. Well, how do they look? I want to see them. Wait, am I in the photos? The photos that I managed to get are all blurry or cut off or out of focus. They really aren't good enough to show anyone. Not even you, partner. Are you kidding me? But still, out of all the photos I've ever taken, they might have been my favorites. I think I'd gotten too caught up in my own head, worrying about the framing or what judges might say, always thinking that I ought to capture, but just capturing your subjects as they are. That's what photos should be. Oh my God, me, she, my impact. Ah, oh, that's right, your name. She has no idea who my name, what my name was this whole time. Wow, we did all of that and basically became besties and she doesn't even know my name. I know that's awful of me after all you did, but you mind teaching me your name? You can call me this. I mean, to be fair, like I could have said something. That's true too. So it's not just her fault. Well then, nice to officially meet you, this. Name's Perrin, a photographer with a renewed love for photography. I can say that with pride now. Be who you are, girl. And your reward. I didn't even realize she was gonna give me a reward. Staring at her pretty face all day was worth it. A choice scarf? What is that? Oh, something. Okay, a battle move. I don't. <laughs> oh, and this Growlithe of mine has a younger brother that really loves battling. I think you'll do a better job of raising it. Wait. <gasps> oh, I get a Growlithe and a Hisuian Growlithe? I didn't even know that. Oh, and she's saying goodbye. But you know, Growlithe like these are known for living and working in pairs. Even if they are separated for a while, I bet their paths might just cross again someday. So you raise that one with care in the meantime. I will raise this one to be strong. And by that, I'm gonna feed it a bunch of rare candies. So do we think she's gonna return in the second part concerning this dialogue here? How fun would it be if she showed up at Blueberry Academy? Or even in Area Zero, ooh. Cause like, I wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if they did another one of these missions. But I think it'd be really cool to see her come back. Off they go. I hate to see her leave, but I love to watch her run away. I don't know if that's how the saying goes. But with that, I have finally done the Blood Moon Ursa Luna mission after X amount of months. Y'all don't have to worry about how long it's been. But with that, that's pretty much like everything there is to the Teal Mask DLC. Wait, there's still one more thing we need to do. Oh, my dear Billy and Lady O'Nair, where in the world are you? Lady O'Nair said something about a place with the view of the bountiful fields of the countryside. But where is that? Yeah, we need to do this mission because I heard it's quite campy. Views of the countryside, that makes me think, oh, wait, I see them, oh my God. I was gonna say they're probably like in this area by the apple fields, but nope, I see them. I've seen photos of them, so I know how they look. Here they are. Oh my God. What on earth are they wearing? Oh my God, who are you? Why does he have like this fuck ass bowl cut? Rich people, man. 
interesting choices. Oh, the positive energy is positively flowing. I just love to buy up all this Kitakami air. That's my dearest O'Nair. Even while out in the boonies, your ideas are still purely metropolitan. I do appreciate your willingness to speak the truth, Billy. Billy O'Nair. Billionaire, oh. <laughs> So, my sweetest Onair, however, shall we waste our time and our money today? Okay, yeah, they weren't joking about the whole billionaire thing. I mean, you can tell by their tacky gold outfits, though. Billy, look! A commoner! They're staring at us! A, a commoner? That better- Uh, not them dragging me right in front of me. Well, yes, your eyes do not deceive you. That's- there is certainly a commoner. Oh my god, they're talking to me like I'm an exhibit at a museum. Like, hello? A living, breathing commoner. Whatever do we do, Billy? Is it bad manners to ask to shake their hands? Is it acceptable to ask for an autograph? Like, have you- oh my god, like, how dense are you? Have you never spoken to a human being that isn't your- whatever he is to you? I'm like low-key jealous of them, though. I can't even lie. Like, it's fuck rich people, but like, I mean, at the same time, if I was rich, I wouldn't be complaining. My apologies, it's not every day that I come face to face with a commoner, you see. Naturally, you're the president of Paldea Realty, after all. She's a real estate agent. Would you be so kind as to indulge me in a duel with your Pokemon? If you can defeat me, I'll grant you riches beyond your wildest imagination. There it is, Onair's favorite pastime. Throwing the common folk a bone. Oh, please come see me once you're ready. Like, oh, she thinks she's gonna beat me in a fight? She thinks she's gonna beat me in a fight? Bitch, wearing that outfit. What is that word? Fui, fui? Is she, is he whistling? Oh, and she even's got, she, of course she has luxury balls. Nah, she doesn't care about what anything looks. If it costs more than $10,000 or whatever, that's what she takes. Twink, it's up to you, Kurt Hummel. Show this bitch who's boss. Bam. Like, do you know who you're talking to? Do you know who you're talking to? I'm literally a champion. So this is the power of a common vogue. Yeah, bitch. Uh-huh. 17, that, oh. Maybe I should shut my mouth. Oh my God, bestie. Like you were so good at that battle. I mean, like obviously I beat you, but like you clearly tried your hardest. I can't even lie. You're really something. A commoner, a cut above the rest. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Fui, fui. What the fuck does fui, fui mean? Now, listen to me, commoner. I love that she's not even taking the time to learn her name. The most important thing about money is how you use it. And you think I'm gonna take advice from you wearing that outfit? Spend that reward on something meaningful, an investment in yourself. That way, you'll continue to sparkle even when your money is gone. Come now, dear Billy. I think I'd like to go see that waterfall in Paldea. We only just arrived in Kitakami, yet now we're returning home. I've seen the theories online though. Apparently, like some people are saying that they're Nimona's parents. I kind of hope they aren't because I think Nimona is better than that. She deserves better parents. Personally though, I've seen other theories that um she is like Onair specifically is her sister. And I feel like that is a more interesting theory where did they say the largest waterfall um there's a waterfall here right somewhere wait where is it uh oh i don't know where i'm going <laughs> where's what's it called like busk falls or something that's what i'm looking for but yeah like i feel like like she she does give off nimona's sister to me so like i could see that being the theory if you will. Like, it would be surprising because, like, she's so different from Nimona because, like, Nimona's parents are rich because they're the CEO of the of the freaking, what's it called? The, the phone company. Like, they're basically the Steve Jobs of the nation. So, like, that could be interesting if she had, like, a really rich, out-of-touch sister. That's the theory. Where am I trying to go? Where, where am I going? Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I am not in the mood to actually look for these people, so I just Googled a guide. <laughs> It's telling me where to go. I think I'm headed the right way. They said to just like come up here to that waterfall. Ooh, I got a fling TM. Wait, am I going the right way? Hold one, hold one. It's close to tag tree thicket. Oh my God, that's so far away. Wait, I'm in the wrong spot completely. They're like right over here. Okay, oh shit, I gotta go all the way over there. All right, come on, Motomami. We are flying our way there. I think there's supposed to be like a 
like a flying point thing, but I just haven't unlocked that one yet. All right, I see a body of water, so I think we're making it close. That's not a body of water. Wait, why does this look like a swamp? Oh my God, Motomami, don't fall. Don't fall, Motomami. No, we're not doing that right. What is this? <gasps> a gimme goal. Oh my God, I didn't even know there was a gimme goal here. Uh, I, wait, why would they be all, wait, realistically speaking, why the hell would they be all the way over here? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I think I'm headed to the wrong spot completely. There is not even a waterfall nearby over here. It's over there. I think I have to go over there. Yeah, I'm like completely in the wrong spot. Uh, I don't know what that guide was saying. It's over here. I have to come all the way over here. I could just access the Fire Scourge Shrine, but it won't let me fly over there. Uh, by the way, I have not caught the Ruminous 4 Pokemon yet. I was already, oh my God, it's here. I found the falls. Oh my gosh, it was the other way. I just had to turn around <laughs> from where I started. I can't believe I just spent like two hours growing through the trenches just to talk to some rich people because I want money. So this is one of those 10 sites of Paldea I've heard so much about. Yeah, it is actually gorgeous. Honestly, if it was rendered a lot better and on a more powerful device like this would look really pretty. I had expected something a bit more grandiose. Like, girl, do you not see the size of this waterfall? What are you on about? Something more grandiose. Like, wow, just wow, wow, wow. She really is out of touch. I can feel the positive energy though. Dullness notwithstanding. Hold on, isn't that our dear commoner, the one from before? Do, your eyes do not deceive you. That is indeed our dear commoner, the one from before. Yeah, I am the dear commoner, the one from before. It is our duty as glitterati to make the dreams of a common folk a reality, or more specifically, give them the fine items. 15 big pearls. Well, thank you, bestie. Oh my gosh, like I'm so happy to have run into you again. I fucking hate that bitch so much. She is so stupid. It's not even funny. Hi, girl. Ah, oh, you're so cool. Like so cool. Thank you so much for the gift. Now pay attention, dear commoner. Money isn't too dissimilar from positive energy. When you're surrounded by it, it may bring you calm and stability, but you'll never know for sure whether that happiness you feel is true or not. Ooh. Not her getting philosophical. Is she realizing her ways? Come Billy, I want to go somewhere more remote. A place that's not famous or renowned or anything. So go to Penny's house or something. Like <laughs> I'll take you there myself. It's between the South Province area five and area one. I'm gonna look up a guide once again. You know what, even better. Let me just look at an Austin John Plays video. It is specifically this tree right here on this thing that looks like a shape. Can I fly from this shrine? Yes. Why can I fly from the grass wither shrine, but not the other one? Answer it in the comments below. Hello once again to my rich best friends. What an utterly dull place. Not a thing worth seeing. It's just what I wanted. Thank you, Billy. Imagine being so like privileged in life that like you want to look at something boring because your life is just that exciting. Like I could never. And here I am once again, your eyes do not deceive you. That is indeed our dear commoner. You really have a way of drawing people to you with your charming personality, O'Neer. It's totally the personality. See, look, she's given me 15 of her personalities right now. Thank you so much, girl. You would do well to search for riches in areas where there are nothing of value. Possibilities are as vast as the ocean, no matter where you go. Come now, Billy, I have a major craving for fruit. Only the land of Kitakami can provide. Oh my God, you're going back to Kitakami. She's got that private jet money. Taylor Swift would be so proud. So now we had to head back to Kitakami and she mentioned fruit. So I'm assuming apple fields. Oh my God, I can see them. They're loud ass outfits. You can spot them from a mile away. Hi, look, Billy, what a wonderful little garden. Though this may look like a small garden to you, dearest O'Neir, it is in fact a full orchid. Orchard. Come now, this? An orchard? You must be joking. I've never seen one so humble. I'm surprised she even knows what an orchard is. The ways of the commoner are shrouded in mystery, like your fashion choices, also a mystery. Hmm? Speaking of commoners, isn't that the one we keep running into? I love how they're not even questioning that I'm following them. Commoner, I wish to know one more about you to become familiar with you. Get away from me, like step back. Oh my God, personal space. She would like to battle me once again. 
Getting to know others through battle. What if I talk to you? Honestly, like, let's give him some screen time for once. Do you have anything of importance to say? A duel with the Glitterati is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Quickly speak with Onair. Do you have anything about yourself? No, nope. literally all he does is just talk about his girl. A dream man, if you will. <laughs> a duel with yours truly. Do you accept? I mean, I guess. I, Onair, the president of Paldea Realty, will cry. Thank you. Now run me my check. Thank you. I've lost again. Just what kind of commoner are you really? I have like $300,000 to my name. First of all, I am not a commoner either, babes. Not that that's like any offense. I'm a commoner in real life. Say, Billy, do all commoners have Pokemon this strong or is this one special? Oh, Nair, that commoner must have something only a select few commoners possess. Talent, unlike you, gumption. <laughs> The cheek, the nerve, the ball, the audacity, and the gumption. Baby, that's what I have. Gumption. Oh, oh yes, I've heard of this. Yes, the commoners say it is the one thing no glitterati could ever present. Ooh, damn, not us dragging them, even though we're correct. Now she wants to go to the biggest body of water in Paldea. Back to Paldea? Oh my God, girl. Can I board the plane with you at this point? The biggest body of water. Oh God, I don't want to go back to Casaroya Lake. Lag City, ugh. I am praying for my Switch right now. I hope she doesn't start screaming like a jet engine. Look, Billy, look at this puddle. Oh, the lake is the puddle. Bitch, where do you live? If you're considering this a puddle, like do you live on the ocean? What do you mean this is a puddle? <laughs> Girl, how out of touch are you? Do you live in like virtual reality or something? You're telling me this is a lake? Like at this point, no, I'm sorry. At this point, she's not just rich. She's rich and stupid. While we have you, dear commoner, do tell what exactly is the difference between a pond and a lake? their depth, which is something you clearly lack. Ah, uh, yes, of course, most impressive. You're as well versed in common knowledge as I'd hope. I'm versed in knowledge point blank, unlike you and your friend over there. It is our duty as Glitterati to return the kindness, or more specifically, return that kindness with fine item. Oh, thank you, bestie. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, yeah, like I was just joking, by the way, you're not stupid at all, but you're so smart. Happiness is like a body of water, so true. So true. It can be a puddle, a pond, or even a lake. It all depends on how you think about it. Mm-hmm. Such wise words coming from her. Now we have to go up a mountain. <laughs> like, okay. I love that these two are just walking around everywhere. Hello. Can I crash land on them? Boom. <laughs> Hello. Oh my God, Motomami. Motomami, your head just killed him. You're literally inside him. A world of silvery white as far as the eye can see. Truly a view worthy of a glitterati. What the hell is a glitterati, by the way? Look at how thin the material on our dearest commoner's clothes is. Um, flimsy. My shirt's flimsy? Mama, you're not wearing shoes. <laughs> you aren't wearing shoes and you are showing your nipples. And you're worried about me? Thank you. Thanks, bestie. Oh my gosh, now she's saying something. Let's listen to her words of wisdom once again. Cold hands, warm heart. Don't be fooled, it's a load of hogwash. She literally is just saying shit. It be, it's two dumb bitches telling each other exactly. That's basically all their conversations at this point. And now they're headed to the centermost point of Paldea, they just said. Um. So they're going to area zero. Are they allowed? How are they even up here? According to my research, they're somewhere here. Hello. Oh my God. Is that them? How the hell did they get up here? <laughs> like genuine question. At least I have Moto Mommy. What the hell did you two do to get up here? So this is the very center of Paldea. What an enormous crater. It'd be a shame if I just them off, right? <laughs> it seems we have a new adventure to quench my wanderlust. Come, Billy, let's begin our descent. Oh my god, I'll help you. I'll literally just shove you. Oh, <laughs> we mustn't nearest dear. Entering the crater is strictly forbidden. I petitioned the League for access, but to no avail. Well, unlike you two, I've been down there. Mm-hmm. They won't let the Glitterati there, but they let me go. They didn't let me go, but I went anyways. This was to be the conclusion to our retreat, and it could have been as gold and better. I'd never imagined there would be something in this world that's off limits to a Glitterati. Have you entered this crater before, perchance? Technically, we're not supposed to tell people that we went down, but like, 
They're so fucking dumb. Nobody would believe them. I have been down there. Yes, I have. <laughs> Rags to riches. This commoners had the fortune to enter the crater, but the glitterati have not? Well then, it seems we have no choice but to duel. Yeah, I'll just shove you off the cliff right now. Wait, real quick though, before we enter this final battle. Um, hi guys. Like, can we just like take a quick selfie? Oh my God. Oh, ho. <laughs> Like, wait, 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 let me pose, let me pose real quick. Bam! Selfie with the glitterati. Like, hi. Me and the gang. Oh, look at them looking at me. Bam, this is going on my Instagram for sure. She got a different Pokemon this time. Oh my god, an Arboliva. I I have ice type moves. I'm not worried at all. Never mind. Kurt Hama, let's finish this tree. Bam. I yeah, I've said it already. I'll say it again. Like, I'm definitely planning on replaying the game in the future as I do every Pokemon game. And I will definitely, definitely be doing it. <laughs> when I get to the DLC, I will definitely be trying to like not have such a highly leveled team. This is why once again, I'm just hoping that the second DLC takes place in post game and hopefully like all the wild Pokemon and everything are above level 80. Just because like, I'm not in the mood to get a brand new team. I know that's what everybody does, but like, I love my team so much. Why would I get rid of them, you know? We did so many adventures together already. Like, why would I, why would I get rid of them in replacement for other people just to make things fair when I love them? I don't get it. Oh, she's talking. I didn't even realize. Glitterati, commoners, in the end, we're all just people. There's nothing separating us. I love that I had to beat her ass five times for her to finally understand the picture. Why did it take me so long to realize something so simple? I'm so embarrassed. I wish I could crawl under a rock and hide. I couldn't literally crawl under a rock, of course, but you know what I mean. You were following us around just to teach us that, weren't you? Um... Yeah, I totally was. That's exactly what I was doing. I can't express my appreciation enough. I hope that these fine items can suffice. Oh, that's 25. Oh my God. Girl, what's your number? Like, can we like be friends on Facebook or something? Okay, if she's going back and working and he's... What does he do? Is he just like a... Sh is he a trophy husband? Like, is he literally just a trophy husband? What does he do? You've learned the oh no emote from Billy. Oh, okay. I just learned a new emotion. Um... Thanks, I guess. Well, that was a fun side mission. And I got $35,000, more importantly. Wait, I want to see though, really quick, because I have not sold anything yet. How much did I make from all that? All right, that's 85,000, 785,000, whoa. Don't forget the pearls, don't forget the pearls. Oh, oh, Billy and Onair, those are besties. Don't come for my best friends. I've never said a bad word about them, ever. Those are my best friends. They're so smart. I love them dearly. Wow. And now comes the waiting game. We have to patiently wait for the second part. The part that I'm honestly 100% more excited for, I genuinely just can't wait to see what happens in general with the second part. There's so many theories, so many things going on in the Pokemon community. I'm just sitting and waiting. I have been reading the theories and stuff, but I'm trying to keep an open mind and I'm trying not to go too deep into it. But yeah, until then, that's really it. Ew, ew, I did not mean to, oh God. <laughs>